know. <laughs> ridiculous. Rid it's just ridiculous. They could charge whatever they want. It's just ridiculous. It's my new favorite commercial guy, the guy with the hearing aid, the old guy that goes, his son goes, I love you, Dad. Huh? What? <laughs> he goes, I love you. Huh? <laughs> just this miserable old guy. Fuck him if he can't hear you. Finish the chair. You sanded for fucking weeks. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the program. What a show today. What a show today. The beautiful, lovely, and talented Jim Florentine Thank you. is uh, with us today. And uh, Ann Coulter. <laughs> Trump turncoat Ann Coulter. Is, uh, <laughs> and, of course, uh, Dave Landa. Hello, Dave, were you telling me you were injured or something? I threw my back out. I don't know. Oh, no. I lifted something. You lifted so it anything. <laughs> it just, I got uh, into a cab. So was it a compound media check? It was. <laughs> <laughs> threw you back out? <laughs> it was Artie's arrest records. <laughs> <laughs> Poor bastard. All the articles in my phone, and I just <laughs> What? Uh, what? You see, you read, and you're you're a young man. I, I try. Yeah. What happened? Uh, with him? No, with you. Oh, I, I was gonna say that was heroin. <laughs> yeah. But, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> I realized that. No, I uh, I had a really big heavy suitcase, and I just decided to lift it without thinking with my lower back, and then it just gave. Isn't that terrible? And then I just looked like an asshole walking down the street, like I had been raped. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> It's fun. <laughs> I don't know. You reach a certain age, and it's pretty much that's going to be it. Yeah, I'm like Now you'll <laughs> always hurt your back when you go to pick something up. Like, welcome. Yep. As a kid, you could literally twist yourself into a pretzel and fucking pick up bowling balls and juggle them. And now, you know, just getting up. But there's a comic that, yeah. uh, I forgot who, who it is, but a comic does a bit about how it's just hard to get out of a seat sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Like, like uh, just get up. You got like, so he makes an excuse like, oh yeah, like, oh wait, I dropped something here. <laughs> like right. every time you don't look like you're standing up, you have to do this transitional yeah. stand up. Well, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> welcome to that hole. It's like I have rods in my knee. I'll put icy hot on my back. Not one is from an athletic incident. <laughs> no, it's all, it's all drug related or alcohol related. Not taking care of exactly, yourself yeah, properly. Just not exercising. Yeah, like it's great. That. I, yeah. I get it. Well, welcome, uh, both of you. My goodness, I saw who was going to be on the show and I'm like oh this is a fucking banner show that's good I've wanted to uh, talk to Ann for a while because of this Trump thing you on Twitter uh, I have to go on Twitter like some kind of fucking guy that's been uh, accused on America's Most Wanted I have to lurk <laughs> around right. under right. an assumed identity <laughs> Less uh, the haters and Twitter kick me back off again. So I do have an account. Wait, I just you're back on. I haven't told one person who it is. I am lurking. So in it's a fake name. Utter secrecy. Yeah, yeah. You're I'm on there. Tell us now because I, I want to follow you. I can't. I can't. It it fucking it always you down. Always right bites me in the ass. All the best people have been thrown off Twitter. Thrown off. Everybody. Yeah. Gavin. I I text with Gavin on a nightly basis. Right. Thank God because I miss his tweets so I bad. I know. And, and he's Milo hilarious. Milo was great. Milo Yiannopoulos, Alex hilarious. Jones, your Alex, your friend. Oh. Fucking Alex. Yeah. They kicked me off, I knew it. <laughs> the frogs kicked me off for calling him gay for drinking fluoride in the water. <laughs> 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 yeah, I miss all those guys, uh, all my friends. And uh, you just go on Gab? No, I, I, I'm, I have an account. But it's just not the place the cool kids hang out. Well, no, I know. I, you, you do it to annoy liberals, and they're That's not true. on gas. Yeah. Oh, you're on the Nazi site. <laughs> Is that really a Nazi site? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so I, I, I follow you, and I, I look, read your tweets, and uh, the shit you are getting... Because now you're getting shit from both sides. It's hilarious. Or I'm loved by both sides. Or you're depending loved. Depending on how you look at it. That's right. Now, you were the darling of the conservative right for a while. And uh, then it, this whole Trump wall thing, uh, and then the government shutdown, him ending the shutdown without a wall, you said, hey, this is fucking bullshit. It is Right. That's why the true Trump supporters are completely with me. It's the kiss asses who right. really want Trump to call and wish them a happy birthday are all telling me, no, he's building it. He's building it. We have an impermeable wall across the border. No, we don't. It really is funny to hear like, no, we're already we've been building. It's like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I th think we'd see pictures of some yeah, cranes and bulldozers. I'd like to go to the groundbreaking. Yeah, yeah. Where was you know that? The videos of that. Oh, Trump 
with a MAGA hard hat and a shovel. Yeah. Here we go. Making ground. Beautiful ground. Big scissors and a ribbon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just cu- cutting a ribbon on just a brick wall. No one gets in. Yeah, That's see, the funny looking. part of the ribbon. Yeah, I mean, Usually you cut it, people go through, no one gets through. He would be showing pictures of that every day. Every day oh, yeah. you'd be Show seeing him, pictures to annoy of everybody. Right. So I, I, I've been watching that, and I've been watching the abuse, and I'm like, no. Good for Anne. She's not fucking just blindly follow because that's what the left does. They blindly follow things. If there's zero evidence, nothing. They still blindly follow it. And you're like, where is it? Now, I I do have a, qu- a couple of questions for you about it. I do understand to an extent why there isn't a wall and why the money isn't there. No, you've been watching too much Fox News. Is that it? Yeah, well, he Tucker's started- so funny. <laughs> there are, no, they all want their phone calls from. From Donald Trump. No, he could have started the day of his inauguration. He's the commander in chief. He's the president. His number one responsibility is protecting Americans. No, this is all nonsense. I I feel like Dorothy in in The Wizard of Oz. No, Mr. President, you've always had the power. (laughs) Your shoes, you have the power to build the wall. All he has to do is very Nazi. It's no, I'm I'm glad he tried to force Democrats to vote for it because I think it's not good for them to keep coming out against it. I mean, yeah. this nonsense yeah. about we want we want drones. Fantastic. Drones. We can watch them running across the border. Yeah. And, 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 <laughs> what is that? Do? And uh, border crossing security and better roads. <laughs> right. Like what? They're not crossing there. Unless the drone has a Gatling gun. Yeah. Right. Much. Imagine a prison without a wall around it and just the gate. <laughs> and they go, yeah, just put more people and things on the gate. Right. Don't worry. But they're running out the back. But we have flying cameras. <laughs> yes, flying <laughs> cameras. Look at him go. Wow, is he fucking going fast. Action. Yeah, I, I don't. Get it. <laughs> but now what about the likes of, uh, like, like when we had the majority and everything and, and right. could have done this, what about people like McCain, though, and Flake, and all these people that just w- well, and didn't McConnell. quite have enough numbers? McConnell. We totally. Paul Ryan. Wasn't Paul Ryan yeah. a big problem? Yeah, so, no, I really, I mean, so I hate them. Like it was as easy as just no, going, No, it is hey, as easy. Let's do that. It is as easy. I mean, is it? We didn't elect Ryan and McConnell president. That, that yeah, is they're true. scum. So are you I'm saying not that he should... That. At this point, and break should ground. have right from the beginning just say... Break ground. <laughs> just break ground. Build the wall. Bring the troops home from Syria, Afghanistan. You know, we have troops in like 100 countries yeah, around I, the world. People understand that the president, as commander-in-chief, has the authority to randomly bomb civilians in Syria for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> That's hilarious. But it's no, can he can true. he protect Americans? No, no, he needs a bill for that. No, of course, he's the commander-in-chief. Build the wall. Oh, my God. Yeah, his job is to protect the United States, yes. to defend and protect the United States from uh, enemies uh, uh, near foreign and far, and foreign and domestic. So not, he could have done an executive order of day one, right? Even if the Republicans didn't want to vote for right. it. Right, or not even, I mean, he, he can call it an executive order, he can say it's an emergency, or he can just say, I'm directing the military home from right. bombing you know, civilians in Afghanistan <laughs> and Syria and protecting Afghani goat herders, and they're going to protect the people of Texas and Mexico and California. I'm, I'm moving the troops to herders the border. Means right. Fuckers. <laughs> anyway, fair. I now, said could, that. Could, that still get, could it still get tied up in the courts? Well, it could. Yeah. He could do a lot of things to avoid that. He could quickly move right now for an emergency um, or a de- declaratory judgment in a federal court. Pick the federal court of his choice. Get it to the Supreme Court nice. right away. And he will win because <laughs> the Supreme Court will have a copy of the pocket constitution. And then they'll see, oh, my gosh, you're commander in chief. You can do you that. Do thumb through it. Oh, it says right here. <laughs> you are the president. Exactly. Not my president. Uh, so, and OK. The court leans right. So he'll probably get the votes. I think he'll get the votes just because he is the commander in chief. It's so crazy how far the military has moved from doing what it was supposed to do. For the first hundred years, you know, mostly what they did was build fortresses along the border. Yeah, they weren't like they're running around the country, invading, bombing people for no purpose whatsoever. So it's weird that people don't see. Of course, he can do this. Now here you go, Anne, because uh, I I can't believe you're actually here, and I'm talking because I wanted to. Because I'm running the country it. and. To, 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 Able to it's cut hilarious. out a and couple of hours. The country. I read that, so it's got to be true. <laughs> uh, so, what is his motivation for not doing this? This doesn't bode well for him. So, if all this is, and he could have done it, and this, and should have done that, why isn't he doing it? <laughs> 
Um, I don't know. We probably should have a psychiatrist here. <laughs> but I'm I'm suspecting. I mean, what I loved about him during the campaign was that he didn't care what the elite said. He didn't care about right. Manhattan. He didn't care about Fifth Avenue. Oh, he might he be. He was constantly attacked, constantly attacked. And then suddenly on Election Day, all he cares about is you know, protecting Jared Kushner and, and having him, oh, isn't Jared doing a great job? We're going to have him run everything under this. Suddenly he's calling Maggie Haberman four times a day that she's in the New York Times. He wants yeah. good press from the Times. I don't, I don't know what. You think it's an ego thing? Like he's always been that narcissistic, egotistical guy. We well, know that's that. that's why I'm playing, I, I think I'm reminding him of that, because if he doesn't build the wall, um, his central campaign promise made several times a day, every day for 18, 19 months. Yeah. <laughs> if he doesn't do yeah. it, he's going to be utterly humiliated. I mean, just appealing exactly. to his narcissism. Yeah. Do you, do he has to build the wall. This is he, crazy. Has he refollowed you on Twitter? Um, he's, he's following me. Has he blocked you? <laughs> Yeah, no, he unfollowed. Or he unfollowed. Yeah, yeah. he yeah, unfollowed you. He only follows like forty-four people. Dude, right. the, yeah. it's Everyone can so see. funny to me that the press, <laughs> like, it's always been funny that Donald Trump's the president from the yes. from, from election day. Yeah, it makes yes. no sense. It's been yes. like, oh my god, Donald Trump's president. Yes. But every day there's something where you go, oh my god, Donald Trump's president. <laughs> and when he stops following you, it's so petty. It's so silly, and and it's you. It's like what. What are you? I can't believe I'm in a room where the president's aware of someone. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? exactly. <laughs> it's like I should have a connection. It's to that. so ridiculous, <laughs> right? Because like George Bush, H W yeah. or W, whatever it was, you knew no one they knew <laughs> no. or even interacted with or or cared about or anything. Any of them so far, except and it's Trump. Like, actually, once on the phone, Donald Trump called me an Opie slobs. <laughs> the president <laughs> called me a slob. <laughs> I fucking love that. <laughs> Imagine fucking Lincoln Gettysburg has four score and seven years. Guy's a slob. Yeah, a, I would be like, oh, did you hear what Lincoln said at the address? Yeah. You realize a, a 71 year old man unfollowed somebody on Twitter. Yes. 71 years old. 71. On Twitter. What's worse is Arguably the most powerful like man in the world. I was going to say. 22 year old would. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say the leader of the free world unfollowed somebody on Twitter. Yeah, because she was calling him out on shitty promise. So I'm I'm actually. because uh, ruined his Taco Bowl that day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> A lot of people were asking me. Yeah, it's true. A lot of people were asking me if I agree with what you're saying and everything like that. And uh, are you going to give Anne shit when she gets on? It's like I agree with her. Like I'm not. I'm not one of these blind follow Trump guys. Everyone thinks I'm like one of these Trump dude maggots. No. First of all, I voted for him because I wanted a mental patient in the White House. <laughs> I just wanted, I always equate it to, if there's a CEO of a company and they're ready to step down and they have to appoint a new CEO and there's a line of guys that have been in that conference room every day and go-getters and it's like, I want to, and then the board just hates the way that everyone's running things and they go, we're just going to take that weird, googly-eyed guy from the mailroom and make him the fucking CEO. Yeah. Not because he'll do a better job, but just to show these assholes they've been fucking up. Yes. That was Trump. That yes. was Trump. Yes. And, yes. and it worked perfectly. It's like, oh my God, they voted for him. What do they think of us? So I like that part of it. But I'm not going to sit there and think the guy doesn't make mistakes. He isn't an arrogant guy. He is an egotistical, narcissistic. We've seen him. And if you are born and raised in New York, you've seen Trump your whole life. Yes. This isn't like, like some people just know him from Apprentice and stuff. Yeah. We've seen him with, you know, dealing with Ed Koch right. and shit from New York years ago. So we know this guy. I didn't, I wasn't surprised at anything he's right. done. But I am disappointed in this wall thing. It was. The wall just got 10 feet higher. Yeah. Hey, Mexico's going to pay for it. All this shit. And it's the biggest thing. And he could have done it and didn't do it. So, yeah, going into 2020, that is going to be a big There's thing. There's still time. And if he does it, I'll be right back in his camp. I of also course. defend him on all the stuff that on, on the these stuff other that he is idiots doing. don't defend him on. I mean, the lies, the Russia stuff. I'm a better defender of him than anyone, but no, I'm not going to defend him when he doesn't keep his campaign promise. What What do you think, do you think the... Um, no, it's fine. It's fine. Go ahead. No, I just wondered, do you think that he's maybe re-looking at the logistics of the wall and that's why he's doing it? Or what do you really think is his main reason? Um, there are no logistical problems, so there's nothing to relook at. He okay. we voted for a builder for a reason. Right. <laughs> Experts yeah, have said a wall Israel is real. Has want. a wall. It's working fine. You got those guys yeah, down just... working the border that say yes. 
a wall. I think they're the experts. Right, I right. think he's he has an uncanny appreciation of what Americans want, thus the campaign. Okay. But he's lazy and incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> so I just need Sounds like to... the head of compound media to me. <laughs> <laughs> we, we just need to hold his feet to the fire, remind him of his promises. Yeah, yeah. But if he does it, he'll be fine. It's uh, What do you think is more detrimental the, uh, to either side? The wall not getting built in 2020 or um, liberals <laughs> actually like hacking up babies like ancient <laughs> fucking Spartans. I know. Uh, because that... <laughs> So I got it. So I am flabbergasted. Yeah, I, mean, so yeah. I am flabbergasted. I've never been one of these get into the abortion argument. Right. I, I really, because at times I'm like, I don't know, I shouldn't be involved with other people's business and stuff like that. And that's how the abortion thing has worked, I think, for a lot of people. Right. I'm getting freaked out <laughs> by some of this legislation that's going down where. Literally, New York State, they lit up the Empire State Building to celebrate the ability now to abort a baby when a woman is literally in labor, uh, ready to give birth. If she goes, I'm not mentally competent enough to have a baby. All right, here we go. Poison in the head. Let's get it out of there. What are you doing at that point? Just like crushing its soft spot with It's a train? baby at that point. Like, I don't know like, exactly. My son was born seven weeks early. Oh, he came out oh, within yeah. like 15 seconds. He was squeezing my finger. Right. And that was seven weeks early, so he was a full See? baby. Oh, Unbelievable, sure right? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, so yeah. just imagine that. If he was born, you know, right at nine months. And, just, and he's, nah, a, he's one baby. of the most hilarious pre preemies I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> he goes on stage. Do you know he actually, uh, his mic cord is his umbilical cord? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking awesome. Yeah, it's, I've always it's, been, it's a woman's body, her choice. But it's like, yeah, I think you've made a commitment once you're nine months in. There's, there's <laughs> a weird <laughs> thing that they've played on the left for years. Decades that they've gotten away with this and it's because we don't really have this finite When does life begin thing life is this weird vague thing and we don't know when when conception happens and those cells start dividing It really is indistinguishable from a lot of other cells in the body uh, But but then you could go well left to his own devices right. That's a fucking person at right. some point mm -hmm. and it gets into this very weird almost paradoxical thing where if you kill it it doesn't exist but it didn't exist so does it really <laughs> is it a life so so it's very bad but there is an absolute here when that baby's ready to come out it's a fucking person yeah. and I, I have been one of the i've been pretty liberal with that so if they don't think this is going to affect this is so people sick. i just love it's that, that so as sick as soon as yeah. they get control of every branch of government this is the first thing they first do first thing they do <laughs> Yeah. And, and Virginia, too. Did you see the governor yeah. of Virginia? Did you see what he oh said? Oh, my God, what he's he said. He's very upset with people yeah. for quoting him. He said, because they, they were asking him, um, well, what if the baby starts to come out? And he said, well, we'd make the baby comfortable, and then the doctor and the woman would decide. We're disgusting. Really? So they're literally <laughs> talking about infanticide. And that. It's in the fucking little incubator thing. <laughs> right, yeah. What do yeah. you do? Yeah. Just duct tape the holes yeah. up in it? Grab a fire extinguisher <laughs> yeah. off the yeah, wall yeah. and <laughs> What do you do, fill it with water? <laughs> you like, the fuck do you do, you yeah. torturous little kid with a magnifying glass and ants? You hey, honey, see? honey, look, it looks like he's going to be an ugly kid. Let's yeah. get rid of him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? look at What's him. that discussion look at like? Nose on him already. He's yeah. going to get picked yeah. on. So we, uh, Doc, we kind of wanted a boy. That's it. Yeah, it's if there's so something sick. you can do with that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's fucking infanticide. <laughs> yeah. It's it's not it's actually less than Scott Peterson did to Connor. <laughs> it's actually less. Yeah. Right. Like more, yeah. more. Uh, Scott right. Peterson did less to his unborn child right. than they are are saying that they would do legally. It's so twisted that I really think this is going to be a big issue. Uh, I totally agree. Election. Uh, we just have to keep Trump from being an asshole. Trump, that's a pretty tough gig right there. Well, his, I, his climate change one the other day about... <laughs> oh, God. It's cold. <laughs> yeah. We yeah, need that global warming bag. I love when he does please. that. I know. It made me laugh. <laughs> it's hilarious. I could not stop laughing. Like, Dude, I'm it's like, so like funny. Greatest. It's like because climate, they, they've changed it from global warming to climate change because temperatures go up and down yeah. and they needed right. an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> so they just go, no, it's climate change. Climate's different than weather. 
<laughs> Sit down. Explain it to me. Actually, don't. Shoot yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so with Trump doing that, it plays That's right just, into I know. the. He loves it. Just fucking it's like what so a fucking what funny. A, hilarious, but what a dick. I, yeah. Just yeah. To piss oh, everybody. It's so the great. I love moves. it. It's just a dick move. The dick moves. He fu- Adam I love- shit. <laughs> I know. Little Adam shit. He called him like that stuff is Trump. He that is- I love. Yeah. I think he should tweet more. Dude, that he fucking is brilliantly funny. And, yes. And people go, I don't think he knows he's funny. He knows he's fucking funny. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah, knows yeah. what's funny. We've seen him at the roast, the Comedy Central roast, all the comics. He's laughing his balls off at some of those inappropriate jokes. He gets it. Here's my idea. I, I gave this idea uh, uh, to Gutfeld yesterday. <clears throat> Here's what I'd like Trump to do. Immediately resign. Just fucking resign. Pence takes over as president. Trump runs as a Democrat in this election. Could you picture him up there with all those fucking Dems back to the primary? It's the Trump we loved, campaign Trump. I kind of like that. (laughs) And then, yeah, and he'll probably win. (laughs) <laughs> Republicans will vote for him. Some Democrat, and then if he wins, the Democrats will be like, "He's our guy. We got to support him." Yeah. So they'll give him everything he fucking wants. If by chance he doesn't win, then uh, uh, Pence, uh, who appointed a vice president, then he resigns. Trump takes over as vice president, and then Pence resigns. Trump is president again. So it's a win-win. Can you? That's do pretty that? good. <laughs> I like it because we like all love that. campaign. Can you Trump. actually do it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know the rules and regulations. I, I think I think uh, the uh, left would lose their collective mind. Not that they haven't already. Yeah, but the screaming so. in the streets. Right. And, uh, more fires. Everything yeah. would. Just I would just like him to be our permanent spokesman. That would be because good, he's too. a good talker. It when it, it's when it comes to actually oh, doing that stuff. Up there, when you see him on the prompter, he's like, <clears throat> "We need uh, in this country to." Hey, that guy, right? And, I, and I'm like, yeah. here he comes. Yeah. It's, it's unsquinting Trump. He knows he's going to go off book. That guy, these border agents are great. You got to see him. They got, this guy couldn't do that job, right? Look at his wife. She knows. Yeah. He's doing crowd work. I know. He he's loves a it. fucking seller. Yes. <laughs> it's hilarious. That's the Trump. We yes. love him. We don't love the fucking... What did you think about the shutdown? Now, uh, fr- throughout it, when he did it, during the course of it and how it ended, how did you feel about that? Were you were you for it at first? Well, better than signing a bill with no wall funding if he's going to say he wants wall funding. And it is, I mean, what he said today, I don't know if you saw his press conference. I just saw caught the end of it. But he was saying, um, you know, as a negotiator, we've set the table. And I think he is right. It's focused people's attention much more than it would have before. Yeah. This is the wall. The Democrats don't want it. But in the end, he just has to build it. Yeah. Well, I, I, I do have, uh, I do agree with you on that. Um, the left is just insufferable as far as interfering with whatever. How can they possibly say that a wall is a ridiculous <laughs> thing and a way, we, we've talked about this, it's, walls have worked since a caveman stacked yes. rocks up next to his cave to say, stay the fuck away from my cave. Like that's how it, it worked, it worked. Birds make nests. They're not flat. They actually go up on the sides. Protect keep the, the eggs. eggs in. Keep the other shit out. Yeah. It's like everything builds walls to keep shit out. It works. How do they possibly tell their people? And I can understand the dumb politicians. They have an agenda. But the followers, the people that go, yes, right. the wall is stupid. It's like, how do you fucking say that? So, like, I- I'm angry at Trump for not building the wall. But, man, my my just disbelief at this stupidity and being naive and just being roped in by a, yeah. a party that you're treating like your favorite football team. That's the shit that really gets That me. is a good description of it. It is like a football team. Yeah. Um, and, n- no, I think we could get the Democrats to come out for pederasty if we told them Trump was against it. Because it, right. is, it is as crazy as saying walls don't work. It's like wheels don't work. Wheels don't work. Ground drinking, wheels. Drinking water when you're Trump thirsty uses doesn't work. Wheels. We use square <laughs> wheels here. It's madness. It's and a, you're right. Yeah. They're all repeating it. It's the same fucking thing. And the, the media is just an, an amazing tool of the left. If anyone does they they'll sometimes put something in there where you go, well, there's a, a, an ounce of plausible deniability to their bias. <laughs> Don't ever believe that. It's purposefully put in there. Yes. They, they put shit in so you have to go, eh, but they said, no, 
it, they are absolutely a tool of the left. They're yeah. a propaganda machine. And if you don't see that, well, you watch Fox News. Yeah, watch Fox News for a day. You got fucking Shep. Shep is the most liberal motherfucker I've ever seen. And he's supposed to be the guy that does the news. Like, it's not right. Hannity's commentary. Tucker's commentary. They're all fucking opinion-based things. Don't look at that and go, you see what they're reporting? No, it's it, that's their opinion. Now, Shep is supposed to be the news. <laughs> and he's just fucking, he can't stand it. I wanted to confront him when I saw him outside the cellar holding hands with his boyfriend. But I didn't. His boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Who's his boyfriend, Anderson Cooper? Handsome. <laughs> a handsome man. <laughs> I don't know. What's with newscasters? Is there a disproportionate uh, amount of gay newscasters? Yes. yes. <laughs> there, it, there a lot now? It's like alcoholic gay. It's right under yeah, alcoholic. Yeah. It used to just <laughs> be drugs. old alcoholic, and those were the best. Right. I love that. They'll be old alcoholic. Roger Grimsby, <laughs> yes. Bill Butel, they were hammered. They did the news at 6, oh, yeah. and they had nothing to do till 11 but Mark drink. Grimm, I showed you. <laughs> it's awesome. I showed you Bill Bonds in Detroit. Mark oh, Grimm, yeah. Just what a wreck. Scumbags. What a disaster. I loved the news Everybody back wearing then. a pinky ring just giving the news. That's the, what I The want. media now, there was such an important part of the media was and it sounds hokey, but it's true. Trust. You had right. to trust. And they never told you you had to until you couldn't. Now, Then they came on and went, Ooh. a news team you can trust. That's a good point. Yeah, it was always like Cronkite. I just trusted right. Cronkite. Cronkite was a lefty, but he never really, until Vietnam, and he said, like, it's a stalemate. It's, we're pretty right. fine. Here. Like, that was an opinion. But for the most part, you watched old newscasters, and you got the news. There was a clock. It was a fucking monitor and a <laughs> shitty desk. That's it. No flash. No fucking schwung alerts. A lot of it smoke. was the news. And and their their currency was their trust. Right. When they had a source, they go, we can't reveal our sources, but sources say this. You went, oh, I'm willing to believe that because this guy's got something called integrity. Right. Journalistic integrity was their money. And that's what you trusted in. Now, it's a joke. When they say, our sources say, it's like, what do I, the only thing I, you have to make me believe that is integrity, which, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> right. You have none. <laughs> and the fact that you lie about everything, why am I going to believe your source? So the second we lost that trust in the media, they have nothing left to tell us. And you're so right that suddenly that's what their ads are. Yeah, their ads trust were, us. trust us. Democracy dies in darkness. Yeah. You never had to tell us that. What happened? I, that's a really good point. When yeah. people have to tell you something about themselves, it's then not true. there's a fucking issue there. <laughs> and what's yeah. CNN's uh, the most trustworthy news? What is oh, it again? They're always the most trusted they news. They had that banana apple thing, remember? Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. It's an apple. Some yeah. people try to tell you it's a banana. <laughs> You are out of that your was fucking so mind. Insane. What is it, Sesame Street? <laughs> <Is that> real? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, that wasn't yeah. a joke. Because they hate the fake news thing. No matter how much they go, uh oh, they hate it. Because yes. they have been branded fake news. Yeah. Once you, you're a news company branded fake news, you're going to be upset. <laughs> so they're like, this is an apple. And it's a banana. And they're like, no, we tell you it's an apple. Little fucking banana. What what are you tr what point are you trying to get a <laughs> you know you're full of shit. You correct the things you said at the end of every episode of every e they got to go through a laundry yeah, yeah. list. <laughs> it was a newsman would sooner blow his brains out on the air than have to retract something years ago. Oh. They wouldn't run with a story. That, read about old media. They wouldn't go with a story that was so fucking amazing and right. sensational until that fucking thing was verified. And, and the sources were verified, and there were multiple sources, not just some blogger. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking Trump. <laughs> Prostitutes in Russia pissed on him. Whoa! And he sources stayed, he, say. he stayed in Obama's room because he hated Obama, the same suite. Right, yeah. right. And it's, he had to have the Russians, Russia, the girl, the hookers piss on him. Yeah. He had to be in Obama's room because he hated Obama. Jim Florentine just yeah. said on our program. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear the show? Sources say. Yeah, sources sources say. say. Please trust. Trust me. Well, look at even the BuzzFeed article when Mueller oh. had to come out and say it was a lie, and he hates Trump. Dude. Like, he even had to come yeah. out and say that. Look at, like, when... Woodward and Bernstein during D3. Yeah. You're meeting people in fucking parking garages. Yeah, yeah. Like, you have to prove a source to let anything out. Now yeah. it's just like, I don't know, some But then guy. years later, when the source me. was yeah, uncovered, yeah. you did realize, yeah, he knew. It right. was a, it was a re reliable source. Yeah. It wasn't just some fucking guy. Right. You know? It, it's... uh. 
it, it, no, all news now left. is wishful thinking. <laughs> wishful thinking. We just call, you know, Vox. Wouldn't it be great called, if, yeah. yeah, yeah. What if he robbed a bank then? Could we impeach him? Could we? Yeah. Could we? And we have legal experts to tell you, yes, you could impeach yeah, him. Yeah, and now the whole show's based on something. it turns out he didn't rob a bank. Though. It did, what? right. <laughs> the, uh, Tucker, Tucker played something that was just hilarious. It was uh, all the, the people from the mainstream media saying, if true. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. good. It's like, yeah, Trump, um, what was it? Oh, that he told his lawyer to lie. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, that was the BuzzFeed investigators. story. That was and, the one, right? And then yeah. every newscast was like, he told him to lie. If true, this means that Trump could be impeached. If true, this is the worst crime. Well, if true, we will see. It's like, you could say that about anything. Trump uh, was last seen in a flying saucer. Fly. If true, Trump was uh, in cahoots with aliens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it ain't. <laughs> but that's what it's been for two years. Oh. The Trump Tower meeting. All um, of it. it all, yes, every, that's all it is. Them reporting wishful on their wishful thinking. thinking. They want it to be. It <laughs> sounds so good. <laughs> like, like, and and we are kind of blame, to blame a little bit for electing Trump because that I always said during the campaign I was like he has to win. I go that's the way this movie has to end. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. You yeah, can't. Yeah. This isn't Rocky 1, where he loses, <laughs> but right. it's cool. This is Rocky 2. He's got to win this fucking thing for any of this to, have, to pay off. Right. The campaign, the jokes, the you'd be in jail. Like, everything. <laughs> He's got to win. And he won. And it made everyone else go, well, what else has to happen to make this cool? It doesn't matter what the truth is. The story has to keep going so it's a good movie. <laughs> and that's all the media does is put put out these these bullshit stories that would be great. Who wouldn't love Trump getting pissed on by a Russian hooker in <laughs> Moscow? It's fucking hilarious. It's not true, if true. But it's not true. It, so we live in this world where no one really knows what's going on. This story it's really Rocky Five. It's Rocky Five now, <laughs> if you think speaking. about it. It's just trash can robots. And it's you don't know it, what the well, it's Rocky on. Four also because yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Rocky spoke to the Russians. Yeah. Well, you know that whole, <laughs> yeah. the whole thing that he got in trouble with uh, McCain when, <laughs> yeah. when he said McCain wasn't a real hero. Right. McCain's the one who gave that dossier to the FBI. Oh, McCain right. to stick it to that. Trump. That's so right. personally, and he's the one who took a per and he's the one who uh, he had the deciding vote on Obama. I like my, I like my war heroes that don't get captured. So all, all what? that because, you, because that? you know, Trump said that McCain goes, "I'm going to fuck him." Oh god! And the media loved. <laughs> yeah, and McCain, McCain knew that wasn't true, and he would never t hand oh, yeah. the FBI. But he's, I'm going to, of course, I'm going to sink yeah. this motherfucker. Yeah. And that's where we're didn't living. Like him so much when he yeah. ran against Obama. Yeah. When no, they didn't. But then now all of a sudden, he had, you know, he had a funeral for three weeks. I think it's still going on. <laughs> yeah, I think that's so. Like a, that's true. Yeah. They did wait. We don't. We Bush had to die to end it. His funeral yeah, was yeah. longer yeah. than how long he was captured. Yeah. <laughs> he was the fucking, he was Bush's funeral's opener. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they My both. God, yeah. he was getting the red light for fucking. Yeah, and they actually yeah, both <laughs> opened all right. for a wreath. An hour and a half up His front. funeral was like a Patrice set. <laughs> all right, Patrice. Got, the light's been on for a half hour. Get the fuck off stage. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what's going on anymore. There's no sure thing to look at and say, well, I guess that's what the news is. And that's the most frightening part of the whole thing. This story out of Chicago with the uh, Empire, the guy from uh, Empire, the actor, um, he claims he was uh, out in Chicago, 2 o'clock a.m. around there, and uh, a couple of guys came up to him. The initial story was they uh, said uh, something about, your, this is MAGA country. They poured bleach on him. They called him the uh, F word for gay people and the N word for black people. And then they uh, uh, put a noose around his neck, beat him a little bit there, and uh, left him. And, and then he went home and reported it, or went to a friend's apartment and reported it to the police. The police got there. He asked them to turn off their uh, cameras before they interviewed him. He still, 45 minutes later, had the noose around his neck when the police arrived, 45 minutes after the episode. In fairness, he looked nice in it. I guess, you know. <laughs> he was using it as a scarf. Well, let me. You know, it was cold. It was Chicago. Yeah, yeah. So. This is a good look. <laughs> totally understand. Yeah. There's a lot of white people walking around with a noose just looking for black noose people. Noose and bleach. <laughs> looking, subway in Chicago. Hoping to find a random yeah. gay yeah. black I mean, famous yeah. dude. And make a statement. You often hear this is MAGA country where Obama's from. Yeah, yeah. It's MAGA country. Yeah, it all adds up. I don't know. It really is crazy. I just talked to someone who, who, who works with the cops um, who pointed out that the Chicago police, well, for one thing, every cop 
laughs as I did. The moment you get to the MAGA hat. Right, right. That's the second you can call bullshit on the yes. story. Um, but the, um, someone, not a Chicago cop, but a New York cop, was commenting on what they're doing in Chicago, saying they're going out of their way. Yes. We're, we've gotten a hundred cameras. We got 20 guys assaulted. Thousands of this. hours of video they pawed through to try to find this assault. I think we're going to get the truth, and I think we know what it is. <laughs> well, they have that shot of those yeah. two people walking away. That, that could have been a park, you know. Anything here. miles away. Here just are like, we two put up people. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, oh, we could definitely tell who that is. That's uh, MAGA guys <laughs> Perfect right to put up there, because then it's like, okay, well, we found uh, people of interest. Yeah. Sure. Wait a minute. I saw those two guys behind Trump at a rally. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna hazard to guess who's walking around a shitty part of Chicago at 2:30 a.m. Yeah. with Pluto fucking weather, <laughs> fucking weather from Pluto, uh, cold. But Fourth hoax this month. Yes, yes. First one was little Jasmine in Texas. Right. Who was shot by, I don't know if it was a MAGA hat, but a guy in a, pickup, a, white truck, dude in a pickup truck. A white dude. White guy. With a fucking lab in the back and right. a fucking uh, <laughs> shotgun rack. And yeah. uh, he was actually was... holding a lariat. <laughs> and he was playing country music. Yeah. Right, right. He was. He He'd was have a MAGA playing, hat. Yeah, he's playing country. He might have had a MAGA hat, but it was under his 10 gallon yeah, hat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's I playing swear Garth God. Brooks. <laughs> at a yeah, yeah. Volume. Garth Brooks. <laughs> It's ludicrous. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was the hoax. That was one. And then there was uh there was then there was BuzzFeed. Right, the BuzzFeed. Then there was the Covington, Kentucky kids. Oh my god, which is just one we of the moved on too quickly from that one. The bar is set so high for young white men. And this is the truth. A young white smiling man could smile. And that is the worst fucking thing you can do. It shows your privilege and arrogance and everything. He did not, none of them did anything. First of all, I was a kid on a field trip also. We used to come into the city to go to the Museum of Natural History. You're so pumped up on sugar <laughs> and the fact that you're out and your friends are there. You're a kid. You got some type of freedom for the day. It's unfucking believable to go on a field trip. I remember those. It was amazing. So they're full of energy. This guy comes over beating a fucking drum in the kid's face. And then they go, he, they were mocking him. They were loving it. They're jumping, they're clapping. That isn't they mocking. It's kids having fun. Innocent fucking kids. They're not running into a retail store, punching the fucking clerks and stealing merchandise, which, by the way, is excused always as some kind of poverty thing or some kind of past crimes or anything. That's got an excuse. But if you smile <laughs> and peacefully stand there and do nothing, you fucking Hitler. <laughs> Baby Hitler. He was Lil. He was Lil Hitler. And, and it's astounding because the bar that is. There's the racism, by the way. The bar is set so high they should know better than to do anything but stand there, because white young white kids are so evil that no matter what they do, they're held to a standard that cannot possibly be attained. But if you get minority kids, kids that are born in the inner cities, a poverty, there is a pass that it doesn't matter how heinous the acts, there will always be a group that will say, well, this. And that's fucking unbelievably racist. But there's our, our they little world. They wearing MAGA hats. They had the hats of, of hate on. <laughs> the, only time, the only time you see a MAGA hat in public is in a video of other people harassing Yes, yes. Right, I've never I've seen I've never seen one in public. I swear to God, I've never people seen anybody petrified in petrified to MAGA. wear them. You get your ass handed to I mean, you. The only time they show up is if a rapper's yelling at two 12-year-olds at a fucking McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what the fuck? It's not, yeah, that guy. No one wears this clip. goddamn hat. A rapper yelling at two little kids. Yeah, they're like 12 or 13. They're like 12. They got MAGA hats on. They're wearing matching scarves that you know yeah. their mom bought oh, for them. They got the, yeah. Find that clip. They yeah, got find that these rappers. big sodas in their yeah. hands. Oh. And, and this rapper comes over and just starts lambasting these little kids. His name is Bentley. 
Little Hitlers. Which is probably what the kid's chauffeur was driving. <laughs> yeah, they, right. they looked so privileged and arrogant. The same rappers that loved Trump before he was president. Every oh, rapper yeah. loved him. Oh, yeah. Because he was like a rapper. Yeah. He was like. He put his name on everything. He was that gangster was thing. He like, was a gangster. Like, yeah, like how they liked Gotti. Yeah, they loved him. Or how they liked Gordon he Gecko. Like, 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 like Gordon Twitter. Gecko. Yeah, I, I bet you yeah. there is actually a site where you can find how many times rump, uh, Trump is rump. Trump is referenced in rap music. In rap music. There's yeah, gotta yeah. be a thousand. Oh, yeah. Oh, they loved him. For sure. And then, you know, he's president and, and you're you're mock killing him in videos and Snoop Dogg. Well, he's still uh, making the videos. <laughs> I got my street cred to think about even after I did my Hot Pocket commercials. He does Hot Pocket commercials. <laughs> yeah. I believe he's a fucking murderer from Compton. Shut up. Look at these niggas well, with his... the fucking hat on. Uh, like, yeah, look. Let me see your hat. Let me see your hat. You and you. It's bitches. Oh, God, you niggas can get knocked the fuck out right now. Look at your fucking hat, nigga. You's retarded. Fucking retarded. Hey, Bubba, hey, Bubba, hey, Bubba. Look at the ass. Hey, Bubba. Oh, sorry, ass. Hey, Bubba. Fucking crackers, nigga. Y'all ass get beat the fuck. Like, like that's wow. the only time you see that's the, coming the from hats. a guy with a baby blue scarf on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> tied really nice, like his mom tied it before. Yeah, his mom did. His mom dressed him. Yeah, with all the of the little hat on. He's your little mega. No, even, no, even the other guy, the black, yeah, the black guy. guy. Oh yeah, he yeah. was. Maybe you saw his scarf. Yeah. They're all, all wearing a matching scarf. Yeah. Everyone matching in the scarf. <laughs> but that's the only time you see yeah. mega hats is yes. when. When people are being abused, yeah. wearing them, it's not. That's why that fucking Murphy Brown uh, piece where where the guy gets beat up at a Trump rally. Oh, it's so funny. He's like, I just saw a sea of red hats. And that's the only place it happens in Hollywood. In, in Hollywood, <laughs> it never happens. They're constantly being assaulted. Even during the campaign, all you saw were Trump supporters being egged and hit and chased and beaten with locks and bats. And, and you know what? It's a really great time in Hollywood if you look like a white criminal. Oh, yeah. You can do all of those, um, like, house alarm ads. Which are just great. <laughs> it's true. I love that. I feel like I've been transported to the 1920s. Right. Back oh when God. white people you burglarized you homes. You ain't supposed <laughs> to be yeah. my dog. Oh, honey. Yeah. The guy's like, oh, wow, the jig's up. You got me. He's got like, he literally has a mask and the bag with the dollar sign on it. Yeah. Right. Using criminals from the 20s. And the black guy, the black guy's camping. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. actually camping. And he's like, looks camping like looks white fellas breaking into my house. It's <laughs> so fucked up. There's a There's... lot of guys named Chad that break in the houses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it happens all the time. Everything. <laughs> Tons. Like, and engage in drive-by shootings in Texas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, there, Joel, what, a bunch of uh, football players came out and paid for the girl's funeral. Yeah, yeah. Because it was going to be a white guy, a Trump supporter. You know, so they made a big deal about it, and then there's a certain. As soon as it turned out it was not a white guy, no one really cared about no little Jasmine that. anymore. No, do you know the amount of fucking violence that goes on in Chicago on a daily basis? <laughs> Nothing, but this guy, because they're like, well, the mega hand and the fucking racist thing. Uh, they're like investigating this like it's the Lindbergh baby. <laughs> the the like you said, the police are making sure yes. they don't drop the ball on this one. <laughs> so they are investigating this like like unbelievable. What was the bleach for to turn them white? I guess so. You know I mean? Wait, there was bleach. Them. Oh yeah, it was bleach. They, they say there was bleach, bleach too. Yeah. But then it was it an unknown substance. Yeah, but unlike the Lindbergh baby, there's yeah. cameras every two fucking. <laughs> yeah, things. yeah, yeah. And fingerprinting is a thing. Yeah, he, right. He's gay. There's an unknown substance. It was semen that was on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wherever he was coming yeah. from. Yeah, yeah. That was the unknown substance. Unknown substance. <laughs> the cop didn't think there's yeah. no way a yeah. load's gonna be on that guy's pants. Yeah. Because he's a guy. Uh, Why do you smell like <laughs> chlorine? Uh, they yeah, bleach I on me. Yeah, the chlorine. <laughs> it, oh, I think it was bleach. Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, 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 it was just, uh, yeah. There's absolutely... Yeah, they were just cream pieing me with bleach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he... I, I believe the story will come out that he had a little spat with someone. Uh, it got a little physical. He didn't... He had, like, a cut under his eye or something. Didn't know how he was going to explain that to everybody because, you know, he goes around with his boyfriend saying how much he loves him and how awesome he is. So he had to make up a story. The greatest story to make up would be that a couple of MAGA guys were walking around a fucking eight million degree below zero day with bleach and a noose going, ha, 
where's a gay black dude <laughs> when you need one? And they, and they just came out today. Said there was a someone said there was a redneck spotted in the area. Right oh, the area. yeah. yeah. How redneck. do you identify that? Again, the hat. I don't know. Garth Brooks playing. It's a redneck. It was an it was older a... F one fifty mid nineties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. It, we we are just in the weirdest. There was place a famous "You'll Be White Today" hoax under um, Mayor Koch, um, where a black woman claimed that her two little kids—it was in her, like Bed Stuy or something—a very black neighborhood at the time—that time. a couple of white guys had grabbed them and painted. You just remind me with the bleach thing and had painted their faces white with shoe polish. Do you I remember, remember that? that? Yes. Huge, huge, huge story. Week after week. No, it was Dinkins. Dinkins went and visited Dinkins. with the yeah, family. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, it just went on and on and on. But front page articles on the New York Times. And if, it turned out it, it wasn't white guys who had done this. Oh. She just wanted her kids to transfer to a different school. Yeah. And they really oh. fucked up because the shoe polish just made them blacker. Oh, no, it was white shoe polish. <laughs> oh. See, Dave. They didn't, I thought they weren't thinking Oh, my it. God. I mean, really, that's... Oh. You gotta... They were allegedly saying, right. you'll be white today. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you'll be white and today. And even like, as a oh, child, I could read pained. that story and say, no. that didn't happen. It didn't, didn't happen. <laughs> it wasn't true like Tawana Brawley. <laughs> How bad is your relationship where somebody ties a noose around your fucking neck and you're like, look, I'm just going to make up a story. Yeah, make up a story. You got some rope, you got some bleach or something. I got to make this yeah. look good. You need to leave him. Yeah, There's yeah. Nooses around your neck. <laughs> 45 minutes later, you still have the noose around your neck. <laughs> Why would it's you? the weirdest thing. None of this makes any sense. And he said he was on the phone with of his a manager at the time or something. Yeah, yeah. He subpoenaed the phone records and he won't give and them. he won't give him the phone records. Because he told the cops. He was just going to tell the cops that they said, this is my country the first time. Right. Yeah, yeah. The first time he spoke with them was the second time when he came in that he threw that in there. Yeah, because he heard it mentioned that somewhere else. That very believable. Yeah. He heard someone else say it. Right. And then <laughs> said, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. I'll add that in. I'll throw that in, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that happened. Dude, he's just going to have been autoerotic asphyxiating himself in his laundry room. That's how this yeah, is all going to yeah. end. Uh, <laughs> but no, you, how it'll end is the truth will come out, and then you will just won't hear anything about it. Yes. It'll just go on like all these hopes. Like the Covington kids. Like the Covington kids. Where are they? BuzzFeed. Yeah. Um, poor little Jasmine in Texas. BuzzFeed is great because, uh, first of all, t it, Twitter is suspending people for right. putting hashtag learn to code. They do, I saw that they were denying that. They were denying but it? John Levine, who writes for The Rap, yeah. he said, I got this directly from a Twitter spokesman. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, because obviously when um, people were advocating for less coal and in the energy business, right. oil and whatnot, they said, well, what do these coal miners and workers yep. do? And they were like, learn to code. Yep. Like this old coal miner is going to like, oh, okay, I'm going to go to learning basic. That's what Marco yeah, yeah. Rubio used to say. Right, learn to code. Yeah. So when all these layoffs in these media companies happened <laughs> a few days ago, hilarious, by the way, people just started going, well, learn to code. <laughs> and it has been looked at now like you might as well put hashtag MAGA. Kill, kill Jews. It's like that bad. Like, like it's that bad for people <laughs> right. to read learn to code right. because they're so sensitive. Meanwhile, BuzzFeed, when I got fired, uh, I remember BuzzFeed, race, Anthony Cumia's racist tirade and all this bullshit, and, and I lost my job. The, the, the jobs that have been lost because of those fucks with their bullshit re reporting, go fuck yourself. I'm glad you're out of work. That's I, I couldn't be happier that these assholes are now on Twitter going, if anyone needs a good liberal piece of shit fucking video <laughs> right. editor, right. Right. I'm here. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Well, ain't working. What, ha what happened? It is really fun seeing it's, them all get fired. You know, in, in a perfect world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're going to make shit up, absolutely. In, yeah. in, in a perfect world, I Somebody would be against all of that. I don't like people being censored, even if they're they're not being censored. They're being in. fired. Yeah, yeah, you're being fired. But I mean, I mean, even people being censored and stuff like that. I don't like that. I, agree. I don't like people being fired for what they say, things like that. But when uh, when I'm uh, when I have been a victim of that, and then there's people that perpetrate yeah, those things against other people. You. Yeah, go fuck yourself. It's you know, good for the goose, good for the gander.
What about Jeff Bezos saying that he thinks that Trump was behind those text messages getting released and getting sent to the National Enquirer because he knows the guy Pecker over at the National Enquirer. Right. So he's got private investigators investigating that. First of all, you cheated on your wife. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's just start right there. <laughs> so you were saying, whether they get out there or not, you were cheating. It behind. really did photos happen. photos of your Pecker. Yeah, send, yeah, send pictures send of his dick. Pecker. Which right, Pecker out. pics. Yeah, Pecker, yeah. <laughs> and said all the shit. Damn, and he's like, wonder, how did that get, I need to know how that got out there. Yeah, yeah. You're fucking around your wife for four months and you got caught. Right. Yeah. Well, you know how you're going to scramble, like, for any. You're going to yes. grab the blade of a sword if you're drown, a drowning right. man. Will grab, Blame that's Trump. What you're doing. Hey, Trump! Look, yeah, over, yeah, look yeah. over here! Don't look at my infidelity! Right. <laughs> What's the problem? They do all this immoral shit and then they try to pass it off like. Right, as something know, yeah, else. Yeah, it's insane. And, yeah, yeah. Oh. You take responsibility for yourself. There's no responsibility. No, but he they won't don't. Take responsibility for shit. She's going to everyone. Plenty of his shit. Hypocrisy. Though. The you think if, if Trump knew someone at the NSA and said, "Hey, go spy on Jeff Bezos. Get into his phone." I heard he's cheating. Right. You really don't think that would get out. You right. don't think someone at the NSA would fucking throw Trump under the bus in one second. Right. That's that's order anybody to do that to go spy on him and go. They go, all go. hate yeah. him. They all hate him. Someone would come out whoever came out would have a ten million dollar book deal. Yes. Yeah, exactly. You know and, I mean? and, and, and can retire. So that didn't happen. Every one of these <laughs> allegations and things that and investigations, all this bullshit, if you don't think shit would have leaked, if you don't think there's a direct connection between Russia and Trump colluding to fucking affect the election. You don't think in over two years that wouldn't have come out? I know. Someone wouldn't have leaked a pertinent, undeniable piece Some of evidence? Some piece of evidence. We're yeah. holding on to it for the big Honey. reveal. Shut up. When they knew None of you could keep your yap shut. When they knew we could put two Supreme Court justices in and you know what I mean? And tilt that Supreme Court 5-4. You know what I mean? To all of this stuff. Yeah, you're waiting judges, for that. Now you're waiting you're gonna for fucking... You're going to let them do that. You're right. going to let them do that. You're yeah, going to yeah. let them overturn the Paris Treaty, the Iran <laughs> deal, all of this stuff. Now, now... But you have that card. One big one. When are you waiting to play it, no. dummy? <laughs> Ruth Bader <laughs> Ginsburg's on her last fucking respirator know, tick. A third one she's in. She's even fucking... A gonna, third one. We're going to wait for her. If she goes down, then we're going to release the stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not before. Which is, I love the proof of life to Oh, dude, I love the Supreme Court for years. Yeah, yeah. I love her a 52 year old, and that's going to live till he's 90. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got just, uh, me, the memes of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Oh, my God. Just like, the, the working one out eighth of a gym. pound. Just She's like, like try oh, to they got that other one where they have fine. her face and they're putting it on a robot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> it's so fucking. But where, yeah, she yeah, has not, die not hide nor hair of her. Yeah. There's actually speculation that she's already dead. Right. And they're just waiting. They're going to keep her on ice until after the election right. and hopefully get someone else in I, there. I believe they would try that. They, I, don't, I don't doubt it. And oh, imagine yeah. if, because who's that woman that he might, who might, he might. Oh, right. The one that's oh, yeah. got seven kids and she adopted three other ones. Yeah. Imagine the attack that's going to be on her if she's up next. Yeah. Trump can appoint her, what they're going to do. How are you going to... That's do the you... one reason I'm for her. It will bring out their anti-papism. Oh, we... oh <laughs> yeah. So Unbelievable. She has 10 kids? Yeah, she got yeah, seven, she and seven. she adopted, I think, three. She's got 10. What the what fuck? Would they, what would they... I don't even her want on? her, be... um, except yeah, but for I the want... anti-papism, that it will draw out. Anything. It's right. going to be really fun. Like, how could they bash her? What would like? What would be, be an example of what... They I don't do? know. They're going to find something and just go with it, because you know that she's going to be... Probably a Palin you know, pro, she's style. She's going to be pro life 100%. Ah, oh, yeah. A Palin style. Yeah, because yeah. it's not like they love conservative women. Don't. Oh, my <laughs> don't God. Don't confuse yourself they? with that. But yeah. the, the anti papism will be fun. I think it should be a man for the next one because the, we know how they attack men. They will accuse you of gang rape. Right. Um, they've, they did it and all kinds of sexual misbehavior. They did it with Clarence oh. Thomas 30 years later. They do it with Kavanaugh. Right, right. So we know what's coming, and they don't mind being evil, but I think they mind being implausible. The if they do it know. again two yeah. years the later. Devil you know. We know how to defend <laughs> right. against the right. sexual attack where there's zero evidence. Right. Three of them on Kavanaugh. Try that yeah, again. Yeah. Where are all the people? Are they helping that poor woman that t testified that we don't even remember her name anymore? <laughs> where are they? The one where is Alyssa Milano bringing tea over to yeah. sit with her and hold her hand? Are they finding the real rapists? 
Oh, they're so obvious. I love that the one woman was just completely proven to be a liar, and she goes, I just felt somebody had to say something. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, what that fucking I mean? asshole uh, lawyer. It was. I see him tweet every so often, and it's like, uh, what's his name, Anthony? Uh, Avenatti? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Stormy, yeah. Stormy's lawyer. And I, I just see, like, like, oh, gee, he's still trying. Ugh, his his uh, uh, followers all dropped off. Like, no one cares about him anywhere. He's one of those, like, well, yeah, all right, you're had your little you're, moment. When you're yeah. icing your fist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not a good look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like fucking Ralphie and the Sopranos. Yeah. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, I, really... I don't know. She <laughs> fell. She hit her head. Yeah. I care about women, you know? I know. <laughs> made guy. <laughs> uh, I want to tell everyone about the wonderful Steven Singer. Yes, Valentine's Day right around the corner. And I'm going to give you the perfect opportunity to be a hero this year. Follow my advice and talk to the man you love to hate. Oh, yes, Philadelphia's most hated jeweler, the one and only Mr. Steven Singer. You heard about uh, I Hate Steven Singer. We've had him on with the o a show for years and years. He's finally on board here at Compound Media. Uh, why is Steven Singer the most hated man in, in America? The most hated jeweler. He's probably the most hated man, too, but... Uh, well, he does uh, He does it different. It's a different kind of jewelry experience. A perfect price every day. No sales, no codes, no gimmicks or other, and I uh, quote this, bullshit, they say, in a commercial read. Only in 2019. <laughs> Only in 2019. This year for Valentine's Day, he's got a real great uh, treat for the ladies in your life. Picture this. A real long stem rose. It's an American Beauty rose. Lavishly dipped in pure 24 karat gold. I don't know how they do it. Doesn't gold have to be hot? Wouldn't it just burn the rose up? Uh, there's a video on his site, I believe, that... Uh, Is it like uh, Han Solo and Carbonite? No, it's <laughs> like that... Fucking... It's like that cool uh, silverware cleaner thing where you touch it to the metal and all the silverware gets clean. But wizard! Like, wizard! Yeah. Burn! Burn <laughs> Steven Singer! He's a witch! Uh, no, they started 59 bucks. Beautiful Valentine's Day roses. They're not going to die or wilt like Grandma. It doesn't even need water. Much like Gino Bisconti, just put it in Jameson. Uh, the real, <laughs> the red roses, they come uh, with your own personalized love note in Steven Singer's signature gift box, and it's shipped, free shipping, uh, all for just 59 bucks. Now go right now to IHateStevenSinger.com and see what I'm talking about. Don't be an idiot. It's Valentine's Day. You'll wait the last minute. You're going to be in CVS buying her a battery charger for her fucking phone. So romantic. You think you're going to get laid with a battery charger and a box of Brax chocolates? <laughs> this right here, this is symbolic of the male genitalia. <laughs> you hand it to her, she thinks like, oh, I'm going to get the fucking... Anyway, this is the gift she's going to cherish forever. So go to IHateStevenSinger.com and uh, get your lady something very cool from Steven Singer Jewelers. IHateStevenSinger.com. Thank you, Steven. He's awesome. Fucking, it, Anne is just great, man. She's I've great. wanted to have her on for, for uh, a few weeks now because of all this bullshit going on. And she just, she's fearless, you know? It's like there's too many people willing to just bend over and apologize. And she's unapologetic. She's very successful, writes her own books and everything like that. So she doesn't have to kowtow to either side. And the second she starts criticizing Trump, for not fulfilling one of the promises, regardless of whatever circumstance, excuses people want to make up, she'll call him out. And uh, it's honest. She's an honest girl. I, I love her, man. She's yeah, no, great. she's great, man. She doesn't... Yeah, yeah. She doesn't give a shit. No. Which people, I love. Yeah, I, I, even, you got to think that even these bleeding heart liberal feminists look at her and go, fuck, I wish I could be like that. Yeah. You no? Know? Like, oh, I wish I could have fucking set of balls like Anne... <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm talking about like li live. Oh yeah. So I should have tweeted this. Let me tweet yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It, it uh yeah, tweet it now. And it Too bad uh, Trump it goes, won't see it when you tweet it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it it uh, replays during the day and then it uh, it's up in the archives for people to see. I turned my see. iPhone off so it wouldn't People love when you're on. I was just talking about like how you know, you're one of these people that have the ability to speak openly, honestly, you're unapologetic because you don't have to be. You're self-made, you're successful, you're an author. Long way of what? saying I don't have a job. No, what if it, no <laughs> your job, fired. you have a, a job that you've carved out for yourself that isn't, uh, it, there's no strings attached to anybody. 
It's freedom. Yes. It's it's amazing, and it's envied. Believe it or not, even by these liberal lefty yes. feminists, especially, they look at a person like you and bang their head against the wall at home, thinking, "I wish I could fucking be like that." Like they have to be a part of that group, and they have to speak in a certain way. You could you could support Trump, or you could criticize him, and and people will give you shit, but you don't care. You're honest. I fucking I appreciate it. And I that, can man. retweet people like you if only you'd tell me what you're twittering. I is. you know what? <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to tell you in secret, but then people will actually look at who you've recently followed and see if it's someone oh, wait. new. It's you know, look like, at my right. shit. No, I won't do it today. Because by the way, if you look at my Twitter and look at my my posts. Anyone could go, oh, that's fucking Anthony. Well, I, oh, that's fucking I Anthony. I follow a lot of people using pen names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> people that have been thrown off, let's say. Yeah. So what happens if you go back on with a fake account and Twitter finds out? Did it kick off? Uh, Twitter off? will probably kick me off, but it'll take a while. But for the mo most part, it's I use Twitter for show prep. I get a lot of good stuff off of right. Twitter. Right. The news is, like I've said before. Three a days joke. late. Three days later, you're seeing shit you saw on, on Twitter. Twitter, yeah. Uh, so to get up to the minute, whenever something happens now, if you hear about something, do you go to the news? Twitter. Or do you go to Twitter? I heard about the Houston police shooting. I'm like, oh, yes. fuck, what is this about? Yes. I didn't turn the news on. I went right to Twitter. Yes. And there are some stories, eyewitnesses, the police. No, you really can cut the yes. cord from cable if, you are, if you're on Twitter. Exactly. I so think I'm going to. It. MSNBC is getting boring. Uh, isn't it getting boring? Want to hear my idea for a TV that? show? Yeah. Everybody wants to give me a TV show. I don't want a TV show because I don't want a job. Um, but I have an idea for at least one episode where I'd show clips from, well, I won't tell you, but from Rachel Maddow, and I'd have the studio audience guess, was this last night's show or was it March 2017? Oh, my God. Is or was crazy? it September 2018? It's the same, same stories. Same. They yes. can't yeah. move on. Oh, is that great? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You cannot tell. I, I don't still... watch her show, so I wouldn't know, but I gotta, I gotta check that out. So just rehash the same stuff the for an hour. Same every night. Yeah, yeah. The same thing for two and a half haircut. years now. It would be tough. Right, right. But I mean, all of MSNBC. It would be it's Russia, Russia, Monty. Russia, Russia. Yeah. Just put on MSNBC. The Trump Tower meeting. The Trump I mean, Tower you know meeting. the whole. Th Look for the person that looks well, like a dude. And the one that keeps coming yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you find someone that looks like a girl, that's a dude. But if you find the dude, right. that's the girl. The one with the that's MSNBC. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's MSNBC. Wait, the morning show I heard, they're doing it from uh, Florida for some tax breaks, which is shouldn't be. Are if they're liberal, really? you're supposed to give away your money. Are they? Yeah, they, uh, whatever. Who's a I Mike, don't get uh, up uh, early. Mike and Morning Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there was a whole thing in the in the paper. They're like, wait, what's going on with the Maybe background? they're doing it from Mar-a-Lago. No, they're doing it. Because he owns a place in Palm Beach, you got to be there half the year to get the tax break. So they're they're doing it. So it's not wow. like us perched up here in a yeah. beautiful Manhattan. So he's trying right. to. <laughs> they're using a green screen. Those frauds. If I can if I can read through it, it has I, never rained. If I can read through it, it sounds like he doesn't want to pay all those taxes. The taxes. That's what I'm just saying. That's why we, why he's doing it. So Jim, are you saying that left weird. wing <laughs> liberal media personalities may be hypocritical? I, know, I mean, he should be. We Shouldn't he be giving me seventy percent of his salary? I would the, think. What is it, a million? Oh, a a you, a you AOC. Three hundred thousand. I get three hundred, and you get seven hundred. Seems fair. AOC yeah. is the greatest thing. Oh yeah. I love that it's a AOC too. Yeah. She's got like a little three. Yeah. She must love that. JFK, LBJ, AOC. <laughs> <laughs> Mental if patient. Trump doesn't build the wall and doesn't deport <laughs> illegals and our country is finished, I am going to volunteer to work for AOC so I can show her where the Koch brothers have hidden their money. Nice. We need a wealth tax, not an income tax. I want to, I want to destroy it. My entire life, if the country is over, is going to be vengeance on the people who wrecked my country. And that's mostly rich people who want the cheap labor. That is true. Yeah, yeah. They, they obviously have an agenda for wanting uh, illegals coming in. The Koch brothers. We do have to think about what we're going to do Absolutely. if the country's over. The other thing I'm going to, well, I shouldn't. This sound, it seemed like this our last away. little. This I know. Like we have three seconds little, left on the clock. You're like, <laughs> fuck, the Trump thing was like, you know, you're watching a ball game. Your team's just getting blown yes. out. And then it's like, oh, you hit a home run. Well, it doesn't really. It's still 17-1. You know? <laughs> yes. That's how I felt. Like, ah, yes. well, at least we got a guy on first. <laughs> Like, that's how I feel like Trump was. And it's now it's we're going back again. Yeah. We're going to get this guy and this woman and the 
All and the then bullshit. it's over, and it's just a matter of having fun. fun. Taking really a, fun. It's really a new show. Five-year-olds aren't really children. <laughs> that, what's that? I'm sorry, I'm still on this. There's a new show called Morning Joe. Yeah. All right, I just Morning sure Joe. I heard that right. Go on. Well, we <laughs> need to interrupt. We do uh, here. It's uh, the <laughs> Anthony Cumia show heard. with Dave Landau. Laughternoons, we like to call it. <laughs> and a Monday oh. is even better because people hate Mondays, but we yeah. call it our fun day laughternoon. <laughs> here on the. <laughs> oh. Bam! <laughs> Fucking. They yeah, saw a real DJ yeah, in Morning Fargo. Joe. Because yeah. it's Joe. It's morning show. It's and it's, I laughter. hear tell they call that uh, coffee Morning it's Joe. It's worse than laughter. <laughs> it's worse than laughter. It sounds like it was a new show written for Full House or Saved by the Bell. Right, right. It's the One shittiest of those fake name shows yeah, that you would have. Where they put the, like, central perk in Friends. Yes. <laughs> it's not real. It shouldn't be for any reason. Right, right. Quarantine's looking at me like, how do you know the name of the place in France? <laughs> what are you, a fag? He's like, what? He's like, what's Central Perk? <laughs> yeah, there. Oh. oh, my God. By the way, that's the most most flattering drawing oh, ever. Oh, is that <laughs> awesome? <laughs> Laughter news. <laughs> with, with a game show host oh. and his Down syndrome son. <laughs> oh, my God. I could absolutely see getting a call now from a network exec going, I really like that <laughs> Laughter Noons idea. I like it. How about you come over to CBS Radio? <laughs> Monday, fun day. You're in. Yeah. I, had, I had my fucking experience with CBS Radio. What a nightmare that was. Talk about hypocrisy. Because uh, let's Moonves um, and all the fun people over there was uh, were our boss. They were our bosses, and uh, to see everybody come out against all this Me Too, the sexual harassment and, uh, for the Me Too movement, you and laughed and laughed. I fucking <laughs> spent time at parties with these people, and it was like Sodom and Gomorrah. It was like fucking uh, uh, Caligula, all. Sexual, like the women were being chased by drunk dudes. They didn't care, by the way, until they sober up and right. get fired. They'll stay there. And then the lawsuit comes and the book and everything about how horrible it was to work there. I think they probably minded unless it was Les Moonves. He, of all the Me Too people, Harvey Weinstein, and if you could get a picture of, I think his name is Noah Oppenheim. He works for, um, in CBS. He uh, invented the atomic bomb. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Um, when you look at these guys, no, I think women were running no matter how drunk you they were. You think they just didn't like not it? Not Les Moonves. He but was at put least. Up with it. He at I'm least. Not saying he's gorgeous. He at least could, but he doesn't look like Harvey Weinstein. He's a handsome right, man. Right, right. But if you're willing the rest to. Most of make, them all look like Harvey Weinstein. Nobody was enjoying that. That's true, that. yeah, yeah. You think there just wasn't a choice? There it is. Is oh, that Les Moonves? No, oh, that's. Uh, Oppen no, that no. was not the good looking one. I was looking Oppenheim. All <laughs> right. I was like, no, that's Noah brain. Oppenheim. Oppenheim. Oh, right. I, I get him confused. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's like the it's... face of the Me Too. No, 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 no amount of alcohol. No. Just the no. way he's wearing the shirt. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they're. Uh, I mean, I, do you think they were forced? Like, like people were forced to do things, or do you think they just understood that at the time it was part and parcel with getting a gig? Like, it's terrible. Regardless, I'm not. You know, one of these guys. Yeah, you bitchy. You fuck. I, I understand it was a bad thing, but but mixed. Yeah, you think it's a mix of the. Yeah, well, I think it's a, you know a single woman in New York's going. I'm gonna fuck somebody, so I might as well fuck him. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean to get ahead of my job, or I do, or do I, I think, think a romance the, novel, the, the good-looking guy in the gym, awesome, the guy, the good-looking guy in the gym that's right. you know fucking is an Uber driver, right? He might what not. What's he gonna do for me? Maybe give me a few rides, right? At least if I fuck the head of CBS, he's gonna yeah, promote yeah. me, right? I'm gonna so get I gotta a, fuck somebody. If I if I fuck the head of CBS, I might get a reality <laughs> show. Yeah, that's oh, what the girls do when they move to LA from wherever. They go, all right, should I fuck this producer that you know has got to deal with NBC, or should right. I fuck the guy working the, the bartender at Chili's. <laughs> How many? Uh, that's, a, that's a nine and a half, but he can't. He, he can give me fucking free, you know, uh, free mozzarella sticks. <laughs> if I fuck the guy from Paramount, I'm gonna open my legs to somebody. I like it. Might as well be that guy. He's a five, but he can right. help me. Really need a romance show. Yeah, this this is gonna be a nice <laughs> romance. If, if you break novel. it down, that's you know how many, exactly perfect. What goes on. Do you know how many years of fucking road gigs I wouldn't have done if I just had to watch a guy jerk off into a plant? <laughs> 
I'm like, yeah, go ahead. I'll do a Tarantino movie. Fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, ruin my yeah. bonsai tree. Look at it me. seems yes. to me like there were some guys like Weinstein who there was no choice. Not only are you not getting the gig if you don't fuck me, but I will ruin you. Mira yeah. so I will ruin you. Right. You destroyed her. That's fucked up. Now, there are these other things, like the Louis thing, where it's like, well, he was influential. And at the time, he wasn't really influential in anything. It's just another comic. The girls come up to his room. And then years later, they say that this was a problem. I don't think that was a problem at the time. I think they were giggling on the couch, like, look at this fucking guy. What is he doing? But I don't think it was that big a problem. I think in hindsight, with everything that's happening now... You go, oh, yeah, let me come out and say I was... Louis didn't harassed. show up to a benefit for the girl, and then it came out that he was a fucking rapist. Like, the whole yeah, thing... Yeah, yeah, there's bullshit. no context he to He asked him if it was okay. They said yes. It's fucking weird, yeah, but who gives a Little, shit? Louis, um, <laughs> there was a, just an article in the New York Times about Dice, and they put one of Dice's new bits I in there. I saw that, and yeah. And he said, basically, he goes, Louis, he goes, the reason Louis got in trouble is because he's ugly. <laughs> He goes, if that My was the, point. If yeah. That, yeah, if that was a Capri or, or George Clooney doing that, no one would have said a word. Never would have heard about it. They're like, girls, I'll, I'll, I'll stay around for round two. The girls will goes, still be just because he was an ugly. Because he says he's an ugly redhead. So of course, <laughs> was it the article? You're gonna be scarred. <laughs> the was it the article? Do we need dice or whatever? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was a quote. That was one of his bits. That That's fucking yeah. great. Even says right. he goes, yeah, ladies, it's rape, but it's not like the rape when I was a kid. <laughs> Fucking dice, still tearing it up. That's the opening Pissing of the article. Pissing people off. Go on. You gotta love it. And they mention they're like four not quite sold out shows at the Tropicana. I'm like, oh, oh what's the are you bastards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, just me and fucking aggressive journalism. Me, me and Rogan saw dice at the the Tropicana. We were falling on the floor. <laughs> we were literally falling off of the the bench seats in a booth. On the floor laughing at how hilarious he was because it was just filthy. It was before he embraced being old dice. Yeah. Like he still, he went through this period of time where he's like, well, everybody knows the old dice, but they don't know old dice. So he transitioned to be old man. Now he's grumpy. He posted a thing at the doctor's office the other oh, day. Did you see that? <laughs> you got to follow him on Instagram. He does these videos. Yeah. He's in the doctor's office. The guy, he's got a Achilles problem. Yeah. And the guy's like, listen, uh, can I still have candy? And the guy's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. He goes, no, nah, because I'm like, you, are you a diabetic guy? He goes, no, I'm a foot doctor. He goes, well, then I can still have candy, right? That doesn't affect the foot. <laughs> he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You're wasting my time. <laughs> it's the greatest. Did you see the, the one where like he's like... Can, like the necklace candies. They're good, right? Yeah, 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 the necklace <laughs> candies. He's like, uh, he's like a so mentally uh, disturbed <laughs> child. It's so funny. Because even when he got down out. and dirty, it didn't really mesh. He was still doing old dice. Yeah, and he was doing like the, the so young much. dice yeah. material as an older guy, yeah. and it didn't work really well. Now he's embraced that he's an older guy, and he does shit like that, where he's just like a confused old guy. Yeah. Uh, do I, the candy, can I eat Pez? He's in an ice cream, there's a video of him in an ice cream parlor getting just pissed while filming it that the kid doesn't know who he is. Yeah, yeah, it's like brilliant. His specials and shit. And then he's, you know, he's in A Star Is Born and he's fucking great. Oh, he's amazing. He's like, he's really good. He's a it. good actor. He's really a good actor. He was guys. great in Blue Jasmine, too. Yeah, like, Blue Jasmine, he just, uh, God bless him, man. He's a fucking, he's a good shit. What's happening uh, around the world these days that we need to, uh, oh, Roger Stone, that whole thing. I love him. He is fucking awesome. Have you had him on your show? Yeah, yeah. We he's had him on a couple weeks for ago. This show. Yeah, we had him on a couple weeks ago. Uh, he Skyped in, but we, uh, we had a great so conversation. so funny. Are they going to shut him so down funny. soon? Like, keep him quiet? I think he should keep talking and have an emergency appeal to the Supreme yeah. Court. It, it would be so outrageous. Yeah. It's so funny. They want to gag him. Yeah. And he's like, no, I'm talking. This is what I do. For, well, A, he's a United States citizen. Let's, yeah, yeah. There's that. So there's that also, thing. He does this for a living. He talks and writes. And yeah. He, it, it would be so outrageous. Yep. I think he should risk contempt of court and take it to the Supreme Court. I, uh, yeah, I think so. He he uh, he was on my show. He's great, and his love of Nixon is fucking hilarious. I, I 
Give was and am. On a court. <laughs> oh, when he came out <laughs> and did the fucking Nixon getting on the helicopter, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was awesome. I'm a huge Nixon fan. Like I, I was as a kid. I have been. I, I know the history. I watched all the documentaries about Nixon. The, the Nixon tapes were hilarious. Listening to him <laughs> talking about, uh, hey. Uh, Henry, these Jews, tell me about you That's Jews it. and what you- <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Yeah, every conversation. Dude. <laughs> well, yeah. Wax, they don't really understand how we live. And the- she just was fucking bad. Very Can you musical. imagine nowadays that shit coming out? And he was kind of, oh, and, and he's got a tattoo. He's got a tat of Nixon on his back, just a disembodied <laughs> head, like Steve O. This is like, this is like a jackass like challenge. Oh, I know. Yeah, I got a fucking, <laughs> I got a fucking tattoo of Nixon on my back, yeah. and now I'm gonna drop a cue ball on my head yeah, from yeah. ten feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ricky Dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but I, I fucking love it, and he's, he, yeah, he's fucking great. And then they just the show of force at that house. When they arrested him, and that was, was so unnecessary, yeah. and it's it's oh well, they just wanted to you know scare other people. Yeah, that's not the job of right. uh, law enforcement to intimidate citizens uh, like that. Did you really need? Did you really need? Did you think he was going to come to the window with a fucking gun and start right. picking you guys have off? Gone mad. They they have become complete mad. Nazis. Yeah. That, right. That was shocking. And to call themselves like Antifa with the anti-fascist when you're literally a fascist. Yeah. yeah like that's, that's no. And their claim that they thought he might destroy evidence. He's been talking for like <laughs> two years now. I'm going to be indicted. I'm going to be. Right. Indicted, right. I'm be, I think he's gotten to the computer yeah, by now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's erased some shit. And and wouldn't it be, I saw a few posts where people were saying, wouldn't it have been nice if the FBI stormed the house of some of those school shooters? And yes. Shooters that, Yes. Where they knew and had a record that the, this person was violent and this person uh, threatened to shoot up things. How about you storm those houses right. when there's a reason? But this old guy and his poor wife in the nightgown with her bare feet, and it was a ridiculous they show of off power. Off the block, uh, off his block, his whole block before yeah. they went in, but they let the CNN reporter be and right there. And then CNN. Yeah, no Is that thing. true? Oh, yeah, his yeah, whole true, yeah. he had a whole block. Was blo- wow. Was off. They CNN. set that all up. There was like 32 cars. They blocked off his whole block so nobody could come down, and the CNN reporter was right there. Isn't that so if he was a threat, they probably wouldn't have a CNN reporter hanging out right. on the lawn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Start firing out of his house. Better put this vest on. You know, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so what do we what do we have as, far as uh, Roger Stone goes? We got what did he did he speak uh... He did like a you know like a half hour speech for InfoWars if you want to hear some oh, of it. Oh let's hear uh InfoWars <laughs> InfoWars.com is forbidden information. <laughs> I'm being censored. Oh, what happened? Oh, again, yeah. oh, what? Physically impossible, oh, given uh, the pushing, the shoving, the shouting, the spitting. I felt kind of like Vice President Richard Nixon in Caracas in 1958. Here he goes. He loves bringing up Nixon. <laughs> uh, I love it. I want to say, to begin with, that as I think most of you know, I have pled not guilty to the charges against me. Who's there? I stress that these are all after the fact Is process there? crimes. <laughs> and I am not accused of a Russian collusion. I'm not accused of collaboration the front of the podium. with WikiLeaks. <laughs> I'm not accused of conspiracy. Alex, there is no evidence shut. or accusation that I knew in advance about the source or content of the WikiLeaks are materials. They in a high school? Be that allegedly hacked yeah, material or allegedly I, stolen material. You know what's fucked up? This looks like uh, one of those Twilight zones where Hitler lived and he's given a speech. To the House of <laughs> to cover he up looks like old Hitler, but. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, crime. good for him. He's out there talking. Talking, yeah, so, no uh, sure. yeah, I, I, I like that. I like the idea that he's not, uh, you know, bolting himself up in in a, a, a hideout and not talking. Good, let him fucking speak. The, the the idea that so many people aren't even allowed to talk anymore under penalty of law, right, is amazing to me. I don't think that was ever the intent of of those laws when they were put in place to sh- shut people up to keep them from talking. Uh, yeah, he could be arrested. Um, 
for violating a gag order. Right. If he keeps talking, why? But he, there's no gag order yet, right? Not yet, no. But I, I think there will be. I think the judge. I think they're going to want to shut him up. But to put a gag order on him because it's just I think make he, it look worse, and he'll keep talking. And get I hope so. And, yeah. Because yeah. if they throw him in jail for talking, yeah, it's really yeah. that is utterly fascistic. Well, will it be Michael Flynn down right away? You know, because oh yeah. All of them. They're able to just shut these people yeah. down. Uh, I'm stunned. Even Alex Jones, like, like without being arrested or anything, like, they shut him down. Yes. Uh, Gavin McInnes. Now, well, you know, that's Proud something boys. else they shut him you down. should be a little testy with Trump over. All of his yes. supporters are being shut down. How about you fucking to, yeah. say something, do something? But, I mean, I'm sure his people that are around him are, uh, yeah, are saying, well, it's not a good look to support these people saying you're not or supporting the speech? people you're supporting free speech no matter who is uttering uh what they're what they're saying and, and the fact that it's alex jones or gavin has no bearing on it they're they're selectively silencing people based on their ideology absolutely and right. the gavin thing is really ridiculous laura loomer this. Yeah, Laura got uh, shut down. And when you have a platform like Twitter where world leaders are discussing things, the whole country uh, goes there to discuss right. things. And, and and the second Twitter agreed to put out emergency notifications for hurricanes and tornadoes, then they you can't just ban people. You can't shut people off from emergency information right. based on their ideology. So how isn't that something that's been challenged? Uh, Gavin, I, I believe, is going to challenge that. Um, he's got himself a lawyer Good. that is willing to take that on. But uh, the whole Proud Boys thing was such a I goof. Know. It was a, a goof that he invented at this desk uh, here with people be, uh, based on the fact that one of our employees, uh, this little guy rat, didn't have a <laughs> girlfriend, was very feminine, and liked Broadway musicals. So he's like, you got to get out. You got to do something. And uh, he played this uh, clip of a song from a Broadway musical called Proud of Your Boy. It was a Disney thing. And that's how the Proud Boys were were created, that you have to be a man and you have to right. be proud of your Western chauvinist kind of attitude. It started with... Funny enough, a little Jewish kid that worked here I was the face that. of yeah. was the face of the Proud Boys. But you know, they were really great. They protect me and around the country. And that's what there was the turn. It started as a joke on Compound Media with Gavin. Then these guys would get together at a bar and just discuss shit. They'd well, hang they out did as the guys. Up thing. They did have to prove they were guys. Yeah, yeah. They would be beaten and have to uh, name five breakfast cereals <laughs> during the beating. Right. And then the beating would end, and they're like, "Hey, you're a proud boy." <laughs> ridiculously funny. <laughs> so they would go out and go across the street to the Irish place and drink some beers and talk about the news and whatever. Now, Gavin was doing appearances and, and speaking at uh, NYU and whatnot, and Antifa would show up and uh, criticize him and protest him and yell and, and attack throw things. Our supporters. And attack. So Proud Boys were like, hey, we'll go down there, make sure you get in and out of the yes. venue safely for you too. Yes, and, and it's very. Yeah. I mean, the idea that it's that it's a white thing. Uh, uh-uh. in in L.A., they're oh. mostly Hispanic, Hispanic. A lot of off-duty cops. Yeah, and they. It's not just protecting me. And my bodyguard died last year, so I actually could use a few Jeez. people protecting me. But it's the people coming to see me who are getting set right. upon by these animals. Yep. I mean, I haven't seen a single example of like a band of seething white men attacking anyone. It it's always the reverse. It's all. And if they find out it's people who are supporters of mine or Trump's or Gavin's, they're going to be horrible to these little old right. ladies and nice people. And the Proud Boys have been so fantastic. They're the ones that were made kind of like this weird protecting of not starting shit, not starting only by, defensive. Just let Gavin go in and speak. At, at a venue. And they like a scrap. leave. Right. So once oh, they we're do. out of Believe there, me. they will enjoy beating up they the won't, Antifa. They will never leave a fight. <laughs> they don't start them. Right. These dumb Antifa kids that, you know, are used to cosplaying at Comic-Con. Right. Yeah. With their little shields and yes. swords. And, and, you know, they've been playing Fortnite all night. <laughs> uh, they think, you know, they're going to rumble with those motherfuckers. Yes. They're beefy animals who just deck them. And because they get the best of Antifa, they're looked at as the bullies. They start, you, you know, you, you know who starts it. and But it's it, it kept running 
and and the media picked up on it and called them Nazis and they, and Gavin yeah that's the kid, <laughs> that's, the kid yeah. that's the face of Proud oh, that's Boys. That's hilarious. A little Jewish kid is the reason Proud Boys exists, which is a hilarious because irony. Gavin wanted to make him a man. Make him a man. Proud Aww. of your boy. Yeah. And that was uh, that was it. So. <laughs> And then Gavin's life has been turned upside yeah. down. His marriage, his kids have to deal with neighbors that look at like it's fucking the eagle's nest. Yes, uh, that they're living next door putting to. Putting signs up on his, yeah. on his, in his front yard, signs. saying like a Nazi lives. We here. don't really? want you. We don't want your and kids. He has little going kids to going to school. Yeah. Yeah. They're harassed. It's, it's really. Gavin has they're been, like the KKK was. They to are. Black people. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I've had Gavin at my house with his wife and kids, and his family is amazing. They're beautiful, so well behaved. Like his kids, my girlfriend's going like, Gavin's kids are fucking great. They sit, they please, thank well, that's you. That's funny. They're playing uh, with the Xbox and they're taking turns. She's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and it's true, they're just, his wife is hilarious, great woman, and he's a nice guy. You know, he's got this, I I've always said, his satire and parody is too good. Yeah. He's too good for a, a, a general public that's too stupid to realize he's true. joking. He's very it's a talented. a joke. And when, when that crossed over into his private life, uh, it was just horrible. Yeah. Horrible for the guy. I feel bad. I, I Like I said, I texted him at night. He's f one of the funniest guys I, I've ever known. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel bad. I feel bad he's going through this. No, there's a lot of talent out there that I think could be. I don't know how to use it. Maybe on a yeah on a web. Maybe on something like your show here. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a cable station because it's. I mean, there are a lot of really talented people, and not just the ones we've named, but people that would surprise you. You don't not alt right, not pride, right, voice, right. Any of that. But out in Hollywood, I've been running into so many people. Um, who are being turned down for jobs for being white. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. Very, very talented people. And I was thinking, you know, if we could just find a billionaire to start a TV station, we, we have got something. a lot of talent there yeah, that's yeah. just be, being left on the on the floor. Well, that's something else I've, I've goofed about uh, for a while now is uh, the people that go, well, you know, make your own Twitter. You yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. And the, you know, got gab out there. they take away, there. but they take away the server. The they server, take away the credit card company. you get paid. Right. Yeah. They take away all that. It's like, yeah, <laughs> you've, I'm like, you've made, people go, you made your own thing. People could do that. It's like, yeah, I still got a piano over my head with, uh, by a, a wire because I don't own the fiber optic cables right. on the telephone poles. Right. I don't own Verizon. I don't own every company that ha has to be at, at the top of the pyramid uh, that keeps this going. Mm -hmm. So you're always beholden to somebody in that respect. So uh, those things, and I'm so against government regulation. I think their nose should be out of as much shit as possible. Let us live our lives. Right. But there are some things that need regulation because they just run a they don't need to regulate they just need to apply first amendment principles and we have 200 years a body of law on that this is as you say the public square yeah it is the new so public just square. apply the first amendment to the one and only twitter but they're the first ones to jump and go it's a private company they can do what they want <laughs> and and the fucked up thing is they're okay with that like you're okay with a company being able to just fire someone based on their ideology destroy their fucking livelihood because their opinion is different right we're right. a private company yeah i'm not good with that <laughs> right, yeah. i, I totally think i like agree. that very much that the private company is allowed to do right. what we haven't allowed the government to do. They become, it, it's not like the Jones's Mill or the right. Corner General Store right. anymore. It's like, well, Bob, you're going to have to leave. We don't appreciate what you've been saying about the colored people or something. You know, it's like, it's the 1800s. They spoke like that. But uh, yeah, and then you just go, yeah, <laughs> then you just go to the fucking farm and get the gig there. The, his sort of, but now there are corporations like Amazon and whatnot right. that are, are ingrained, intertwined in your life that you can't really live as an American without the phone and right. these, these entities. And Twitter, like we've said, has become a town square. How do you deny people the ability to voice their opinions on something that has become a worldwide platform known to be where people go to uh, exchange ideas and, and opinions? Well, it's in, that's happening with Patreon, too. Yeah, I, yeah. I what is Patreon? Patreon's just another way uh, uh, um, 
a way to make money on Monetize. your podcast. So it's or like a YouTube alternative. It's like a YouTube alternative, but you could charge people, you know, for extra content. Like if you have a free show, you okay. could put it on Patreon. So people build up a big audience from that. Yeah. But now they're censoring. I get emails all the time, dude, get off of Patreon. You see what they're doing. I'm like, I have no fucking clue. Yeah. But so I know some guys, some right wing guys have gotten thrown. Yeah. Are, are, yeah, they've thrown people out. Patreon is. Uh, and yeah. They're, they're leaving and all that stuff, too. So. What's well, the problem? Yeah, none yeah. of them follow the exact rules, though. Like all their rules and regulations. It's very vague. It's, right. it's all bullshit. Yeah, they they don't adhere to it for everybody across. They're all very. It's a gray area. The terms of service, no one reads them. They're umpteen thousand pages long. You just click accept and you you start there. And then when they kick you off and you're mad, you don't even know what you agreed to. So you know you're kind of left out in the cold. Again, the company is eh, private company. <laughs> Do what they want. Oh, you know the uh, the the president that. of Amazon came over and uh, he killed my wife. Private company. <laughs> Loud, he could walk in and murder people. It's she's amazing. A, she's a giving all these yeah, fucking yeah. privileges and rights and yes. exemptions to a private company because it's a private company. No, go fuck yourself. <laughs> right. Like that South Park one where they just kidnap him to make the human centipad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I mean, Verizon doesn't send me a message going, "Well, uh, we we heard the conversation you had over our uh, wires with your brother. We don't appreciate or uh, agree with that, so we're stopping your service with Verizon." Yeah. I'd be like, no, you can't do that. <laughs> Private company, do what they want. So, but Painless. but it's literally the same thing with Twitter. Yes. Like you don't like what we're saying on your platform. That's it. We don't like what you're watching on our cable system. <laughs> you watch a lot of Hitler shows, Anthony. <laughs> I do. There are other programs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's nothing else on at two in the morning. What am I going to watch? Golden Girls. What are you learning? <laughs> yeah. What are you? What are you going to put these? What new practice <laughs> what you've learned from Hitler shows? What new information is there? Cutting off your cable. You don't <laughs> like what you're watching. Like it's that. Twitter has become that. YouTube, these platforms have become that. And you you just shouldn't be allowed to arbitrarily throw people off yeah. based on opinion. I don't mm -hmm. like it. Yeah, fuck that. Well, and especially when you allow how many anonymous people to just attack and bully and harass oh. people mm -hmm. all day. Why don't we take out the anonymity of it then? Yeah, yeah. I love that idea. You should. I think if you don't have the balls right. to show who you are, yeah. don't do it. Yeah. Everybody yeah. here fucking, well, you have to be in on this. Yeah. But everybody not, on this Not section. Anthony Cumia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. My Instagram not account. Ant. Yeah. My Instagram account is my cat. Yeah. Like my cat runs an Instagram account. That's mine. It's just pictures of Beavis. It's just pictures of my cat. Are we allowed to know what that is? That's all I could do. What is it, Beavis? It's Beavis. My girlfriend runs it. But uh, it's funny. It's just, yeah, cat pics. And, of course, there's probably a problem with that, too. Right. Oh, cats. Well, you know what they do? They give people, um, uh, they, they give pregnant women that disease. Yeah. <laughs> They're litter. I don't know. My cat dumped a whole bunch of soy sauce and Japanese food all over its head the other day. <laughs> it was on the edge of the counter, and it went, <laughs> fell all over him. <laughs> It's like Chinese guys going like, ooh. ooh. <laughs> I was going to say. Tasty. Not you should the, taste it. Not the first time a cat's been covered in duck sauce. You got your cat in my Chinese food. You got your Chinese food on my cat. Two great flavors. <laughs> As I use a 1950s racist yeah. Asian. This is a soy sauce kitty. That joke was meant for the time machine. I'm sorry, people. Back, back to the days of suspenders. Yeah, yeah. Like this. Yeah. You could talk racist yeah. if you do. I don't like what you're saying about black I'm, people. How I'm, do you think uh, they should share I'm fountains and imitating uh, somebody from the old days when it was allowed? Oh, look at that. A lot of love going on in the lobby. Big A uh, got a haircut. Yeah, yeah, Big A got a haircut, I guess. Oh, and he did it up. Good boy. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's it's just cold as all fuck. We know that. Polar Vortex. I thought that was something fake from that uh, Day After Tomorrow movie. It is. Something. Right? right What's the Polar Vortex? It's like uh, cold polar air comes down to the United States, and it uh, spins. <laughs> Wasn't that with the whole what thing? It's fucking that. But Chicago is... Uh, Really fucking cold. Uh, but I think yeah. we knew that. And that's just to gay people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, if you're a gay black gentleman. It's so famous. cold, guys will wear a noose around their neck to keep Yeah, it. yeah, to keep warm. I thought it was a scarf. Yeah. <laughs> I got this scarf at the hardware store. Yeah. Yes, you know. 
And my socks are chains. <laughs> if there's too much ice where I'm walking, I just pour bleach on it. Yeah, me. yeah. Bleach is warm. <laughs> yeah. It's to distract yeah. you from the cold. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't even. Fuck, that story is so bizarre. They saw a redneck lurking. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Redneck. Don't yeah, let yeah. it go away, <laughs> Anthony. No, no. Uh, no, we will keep. Just I want, yeah, we have four hoaxes, and I do, do not want you to drop any of them. Oh, no, we will continue to keep you updated here <laughs> on Compound Media. Well, can you get any more sympathy from the media? You're black and you're gay. You, oh, I know. You, you they know are I mean? going to, yeah. oh, check. my God, are they going to jump through hoops to make sure a doubt. that doesn't fuck up. The term redneck, though, yeah. is amazing that yeah. that's what they went with. They're like, yeah. Yeah. a redneck. Yeah, he had a, <laughs> really? a Dodge Ram with <laughs> a, a, a bald eagle fucking American. Crazy. Same guy that was in the parking lot with that other. A baby in Houston. Yeah, that's right. Right by. <laughs> same same truck. Yeah, same guy. Same yeah. redneck. Same that's like if you wanted to describe a like on the back a black dude. You go. I saw a hip hop guy. Yeah, yeah. That's the same. Yeah. A hip hop gentleman. Yeah. Was, yeah. Uh, a backup dancer robbed me and my wife. Yeah. yeah. He lo- I don't know. He looked like the guy from Breaking Two, Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. <laughs> it's so. It's so ridiculous. Um, oh, our good friend Artie Lang. We got this story. I couldn't believe this. My brother uh, texted me this morning and said, so Artie's in jail? I'm like, what? How is Artie in jail? We just, you know. Uh, <laughs> but apparently, uh, yeah, Artie, you remember the latest update with Artie was he went to uh, court and uh, they drug tested him at the court and he tested positive for coke. <laughs> like, yeah. Artie. Just 24 hours could you just not do coke and uh, he tested positive he's got he was just like well it's in my system i don't know what happened <laughs> must have been in my system from uh, 1989 but it was it in his system possible he had built up a lot right right, in right. Fairness <laughs> just much like a squirrel stores nuts for the winter <laughs> artie's nose snor- <laughs> stores coke you'll notice the size changes yes as, as, as per the season yeah. the colder oh. it gets you can tell he's been eating yes <laughs> if we look at the artie lang nose during the winter months you'll notice it gets much larger <laughs> this is when he's storing cocaine for the winter <laughs> It's uh, in a dark apartment. (laughs) Uh, So uh, he did that. But then the judge was like, all right, you tested positive for blow, but we're going to you go to rehab and we're not putting you in jail. He's on probation for four years that he had. Oh, my God. Is that what is an old one? No, this is the latest one. That's the the latest latest one. one? It's the most recent one. Oh, my God. What the fuck? In his defense, he's losing weight. <laughs> oh my god! That literally look, it looks like a legless version of that thing from Alien. Oh, <laughs> that kind, I feel terrible. So that's the latest mugshot. I what? really, I hope he gets. Supposedly, How? he had a. It looks painful. He was going to go on a drug treatment. Yeah. Uh, yes. Plan like, and it was yesterday. Whenever they were going to figure out what it was. Yeah, yeah. And he realized, like, suppose there was a story out that his friends. He told his friend, "I'm just going to go out with a bang and do all the drugs. I'm either going to jail or going to go away oh for six months God. in a treatment." Already said that didn't happen, but then he got supposedly busted yesterday busted with drugs. Or drugs. It says uh, put him in a treatment. I guess for like probably six months minimum. Was he busted buying, do you know, or just with? I don't know. He had it on him or something. Okay. Page but he got busted six. yesterday, and that was his headshot, and now yeah. he's going right to the tree. Mugshot. But now his lawyer's saying that, funny. no, they just have him in a holding cell for a couple of days to sober him up before he goes is to this treatment. Mayberry? Who is he, Otis the Drunk? <laughs> now, Artie Lang, we're yeah. going to have to keep you in this cell for a while. That's right, Ange. <laughs> keep Artie in there. Where's Gomer? It's not Mayberry. It's fucking jail. He's in jail. <laughs> Holy shit. Page six confirmed Thursday that the comedian was uh, remanded to jail in Essex County, New Jersey on Wednesday night for possession of a controlled substance. Uh, he has yet to be released the same day as team. He's got a team. His team issued a <laughs> statement that he was seeking help for drug addiction. Uh, excuse any excuse any show advertisements starting today. Artie will be undergoing a long term treatment program. He loves and respects his fans. Updates coming soon. And it's time. Team Lang, they wrote. A rep for Lang had no comment, however. His team uh, later tweeted, the comments made by Artie's lawyer have been taken out of context. Seriously? Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 Artie was not arrested and sent to jail. 
They are holding him for a few days to sober up before transferring him to a long-term uh, treatment facility. Artie needs us uh, to be with him, not against him. Lang's arrest, and then it goes, Lang's arrest comes after. So they just <laughs> right. took that statement and said, no, fuck you, he's in jail. <laughs> uh, after various uh, comedians came forward and urged him to get help. In December, Lang appeared in a New Jersey court after he tested positive for coke, but he was spared jail time for violating his probation. The 51-year-old is serving four years probation for heroin possession in order to apply to drug court during his appearance um, in Newark. I wouldn't be... Uh, I wouldn't be arrogant enough to come in here after using cocaine for two days, he said during the court appearance. It's in my system, and it shouldn't be. <laughs> I love Artie. I still love the line. Of, like, is there anything else you want to say on a jail phone? On a jail phone? <laughs> uh, Lang's visibly misshapen nose is due to years of snorting heroin, cocaine, um, and cocaine. He previously tweeted. In glass. Oh, God. What, didn't he just get out of rehab? He no. He no. they said he was in rehab. Right. He wasn't. How do you go in rehab? What? What? Fucking uh, Bob Levy's able to knock on the rehab door and go, "Come on, Artie, we're doing gigs in Jersey." <laughs> like when you're in rehab, I mean that you're is in rehab. They don't let you out. You shouldn't be out, and you shouldn't be going to a bar setting, and you shouldn't no. be around any no. of that shit. And Artie I, literally needs a one at least a year yeah. of of being kept. Un under constant supervision. He needs cell. three to yeah, six. Yeah, the whole that holding cell. If he wants real treatment, he needs three to six months. He needs to live in a halfway house. He needs to do every long step possible to actually make it work. Yeah. And I, everybody can be pissed off because I see all the tweets like, "I fucking give up on him." Well, he gave up on himself. Like we can't keep treating him like he's a piece of shit. Yeah. He clearly yeah. has an addiction. He has no fucking control right. over. Right. It has his hooks in him. There's nothing he can do. What like, do you know about it, Dave? I would. Uh, I don't know much. <laughs> I don't know much. Mr. Mr. drove his car in reverse while it was on fire. <laughs> in and, fairness, and, and it didn't was think very, it was a bad idea. It was very cold that day. It was called in Chicago. Yeah, <laughs> on ice. You call that the old Chicago Uber ride. It was mid July. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, it's true, though. I mean, because yeah. I know what it's like to be there, but it's like he's at a different level. He is heroin now. He's not arty anymore. He's right. just a fucking drug. And, like, this judge has to give him a serious consequence. When he tests Giving him a break is doing more harm than good. Right. When he tested positive for coke and they were like, well, at least it's not heroin. Go do shows. Are you yeah. fucking kidding me? Yeah. How do, you, how do you expect not every black dude there not to be like, what the fuck did he just say? <laughs> yeah. yeah, what the fuck there is. It's, it just sucks. Like, he has to be held. He has to be kept somewhere to right. detox and to get Against through this. Against his will Against is pretty much... Right. Never, he always <laughs> leaves the rehab early. That's the problem. Always. Like he never finishes them. And it, ha it, has to be a, it has to be a sentence, and it can't be somebody right. who comes right. out. Like you said, you can't have other comics show up and be like, I need $1,000, let's that. drag out Artie. So go That's to bullshit. fuck it. By the way, you're going to Atlantic City? It's so hard to find drugs on the boardwalk. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> wow. At least, there's, so... at least there's none of his vices there that he wrote three goddamn... <laughs> Damn books. Right, about. right. Drugs, alcohol, <laughs> gambling, 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 and Fuckers. prostitutes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. Fucking, yeah. A fucking <laughs> Quinella. <If you> <laughs> that is yeah, you, just unbelievable. You can't go to Atlantic City. You can't you go near the, Atlantic City. You think the Maglio Ardonias hooker he fucked in Vegas was bad? Wait till you see what he can find in Atlantic Oh, in AC? <laughs> not quite your uh, banner. It's not Vegas. No. Put it that way. Uh, yeah, like, I just, I think it's a problem problem with the judge really like how the fuck do you let somebody right. go with that? you got to want them to live you need to give them a chance and they're not giving if they keep letting them out that's their own fucking fault yeah let him uh, because obviously it's one of those deals where you have to want to get better yeah. but the thing is you have to hold someone there until they're of sound mind enough to understand exactly. that they want to get better exactly. right I mean, he's so fucked up at this point you just got to literally hold him prisoner until the drugs are out of his system. Absolutely. He's gone through detox and all that. Then he can maybe make a rational decision. Then he needs the psychological help right, though, right. to stop telling himself that he needs that. I mean, yeah. physically, they have to get it out of his system. They never did. Right. And then they're going to do... It's fucking crazy. You have it's been to a week. I'm ready to go down to AC Jokes <laughs> right. and uh, do a gig. I mean, who... T yeah, even tweeting like that, like, all right, guys, I'm 21 days sober. It's like, you were arrested Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Makes no sense. I uh, I got in a DeLorean. I went ahead in time. For me, I'm 21 days sober. <laughs> 
for you, it's been an hour. And I love <laughs> Paradox. That guy. Like he's arguably the funniest person. Oh, fucking hilarious! That's, that's what hilarious. the shame is, and it's squandered right now. That's what that's the sin why, of it is. Yeah, and that's why people are so mad. But it's like you can't just keep going onto Twitter and calling him a fucking asshole. He knows he is. Yeah, yeah. You that's don't have to keep that going out of your way to let him know he's a piece of shit. That doesn't. Help. How do you think he feels when he looks in the mirror? Good. Yeah. He's a f- like he he knows that he mugshot like is brutal. You'd think they would cl- let him, you know, wipe his nose or something before that mugshot. That, mug that, shot. that <laughs> wow. healing is so yeah. weird. That has to, that looks painful. Yeah. It looks like it hurts. Dude, it's got to. It's a, it's not healing. It's a I wound that's my, not healing. His like, immune system's got to be shit. In in, in the it, during the entire eighties, I was in my like early twenties, around there. I saw a lot of people do a lot of coke. Yeah. I've never seen that in my life. I have never seen that. But these guys, I guess, were in their 20s also right. and maybe 30s. I never, I've never known anyone in their 50s still doing drugs like that that is still alive. Right. Like he is a dynamo. I have. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, because usually when you do it, then your your heart just gives out. You're done. That's what I mean. Like I've lost so many friends just to the fentanyl that's been in shit. Who aren't even addicts. They've just been like, oh, I'm out at a bar. I do coke, and they're dead. Like he's getting bag after. I don't know if fentanyl makes him stronger. But I don't know how <laughs> yeah, he's not yeah. gotten it into something. Yeah. Like, it's the only thing that he ought to really go to a laboratory, and they could be like, he's the only man who actually gets stronger with drugs. Watch this. His his heart gets unclogged. Every time he does a line, it's amazing. <laughs> Artie, you need to keep doing drugs. It's our mistake. It's crazy. I feel bad for him. I always wish him the best. I had uh, when people he was just working need the on this sympathy show, though to hilarious. realize where it's at with him. Yeah, yeah. So many people are just constantly like, he got pissed off at me. And people are like, aren't you going to tell him off? No, he's on heroin. It yeah. really is a great example. Uh, it's kind of this uh, public example of what it's like to deal with an addict. Because uh, hopefully not many people have to deal personally with an addict. So you do get to see how people just give up and go, fuck him. Like, because that happens in families. Right. People that honestly love the person as a family member go, yeah, I've had enough, fuck him. Yeah. And uh, we're seeing that. It's almost a little microcosm uh, because he is such a public personality. And we all uh, appreciate and love him as a person and a comic. Uh, so to watch him do this, terrible. What Why did you, the judges keep letting him out? I don't know. They told him, yeah. They told when they gave him four years probation. They said, look, you mess up one time, we shouldn't even be doing this. You're yeah, going right yeah. to jail. And he messed keep up a couple it. times, and they it's still didn't put him three. in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he tested positive for coke. Yeah, in jail. And the black, in the court. black dude comes up. And look, and 20 has. years for a joint. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. What the like, fuck? Hey, man, I got my medical card. Sure you do. Yeah, medical <laughs> card. Where'd you steal that? Yeah, exactly. 20 years. 20 years for false identification. <laughs> I mean, that motherfucker with a... Obviously, it ain't uh, based on big nose. <laughs> Dude, wow. yeah, he he just needs to get the right help. And if you actually are a fan and you really do give a shit, if you're a comic, don't make him work. Don't book him. Right. Don't buy tickets yeah. to his show so you can get a picture with him all fucked up. Right. If you really care about him, let him get help. That's yeah. the problem is everybody's enabling him. Everybody. Chris he, Rock called him out years ago on the Stern show when he was still there. He goes, oh. you, he goes you need to fire Artie. He said it right on the air. Wow. I remember that, yeah. Like, I don't, he goes, you got to fire him. That's the only way. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, he told me he goes fire him right now. That's the only way he's gonna get better. You have yeah, to yeah. Take away his means to yeah, get that's it. What he, yeah, you have to we, hit rock bottom. And how many rock yep. bottoms can you fucking bounce off of at this point? We had a discussion um, when Artie was working here, and we were talking about letting him go uh, with somebody else that uh, hired Artie that he works for, <laughs> and uh, he uh, said that he agreed. He's like, yeah, we gotta, you know, we gotta join together and not give him the means to the, and then he hired him for another season. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess if it works, it works, you know. Well, he even said on our show that when Judd had him, he was allowed to have handlers. Oh, Judd. And he was allowed to, <laughs> but he was allowed to give them fifteen G's of his paycheck before it was even taken. That's what he said sitting right here the oh last time God, he was on, yeah, yeah. 15 Gs, and then he would take the other 15,000 to get the heroin. So basically his check's gone, he hasn't even paid taxes on it before he's even filmed the fucking scene. God. And then Judd's gonna oh tweet God. about the how immoral Trump is. Oh my God. Yeah. You're, give, you're handing a dude 30 Gs who needs heroin. I, uh, that's a problem. Yeah, I, I, I was, don't mean to be so passionate about it, but I really like No, it's, it, yeah. that's just it's really, it. It's really, Everybody have to fucking be. enabling him is the problem. Yeah, that's including the problem. Including the goddamn judge. 
Yeah. Yeah. The yes. judge should be the one that looks and goes, that's how do you honestly, how do you look at somebody that is ravaged by drugs like that? Disprove wh- not... white privilege. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is really, uh, they got me sold. <laughs> I never believed sold on until white I privilege. Saw this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Last night I was uh, hanging out with a wonderful and talented uh, Gino Bisconti. Don't get jealous now, people. Don't get jealous. Because uh, we did the Chip Chipperson podcast. Uh, so that will air Sunday. Um, so we were hanging out and we were talking about Artie and he mentioned the story, uh, about the kidnapping that was in the, the paper the what other was day. was the that kidnapping? We did. Well, apparently, uh, when Artie in uh, December of last year, I think it was something like that, uh, Artie posted a picture where he was punched in the nose and it was really fucked up. Even, you know, it, it was fucked up that already. That was the beginning of, of his nose being messed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. He, he said he got beat up by a bookie. Yeah, he like said he a bookie beat him up. Or a bookie's henchman hit him with a pipe or something. Punched him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he said, then he said just recently <laughs> that he was kidnapped. Right <laughs> he said he got punched in the nose. He got knocked out. And then when he woke up, he was in a van with this skinny ghetto kid who was holding him for $100,000. And then he said, well... Uh, kid, it was like the like a movie, you know. Kid, what are you doing? You're making a bad decision here. Let me go. This uh, and the kid finally let him go, and then the 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 drug dealer or someone, the bookie that this little skinny kid sometimes worked for, called Artie and goes, "Yeah, we found him. What do you want us to do with him?" Like it was this weird kind of thing. Like, no, nah, be cool to him. He goes, "We tuned him up already a little bit, but." And it was on the jail phone. Yes, I love, yeah. He's like, and then Art is like, more, is this a uh, good thing to be telling me on a jail yeah, goes, phone? Is there any more felonies you want to admit to on a jail phone? <laughs> like, which is funny, but Gino, Gino brought up yeah. such a good point. I know, you heard right, people. Let me say that again. Gino he, brought up a good point. The theory was the guy was going to tell a bookie, look, give me 100 grand and I'll give you Artie back because right. Artie owed him 62000 yeah. So if you give me the 100 grand, then Artie could pay your 62 back. And I know you guys are friends. Artie said he's known him right. since he was a kid, the bookie. Yeah. So that was a theory. and then, That was it. And then the kid just left and he left the van. Yeah. He didn't. He left Artie and the van and just took off. So. Here's here's what Gino brought up. That is a point. There's a lot, yeah, there's a lot of holes in this story. <laughs> Gino, Gino is a big Columbo <laughs> fan. <laughs> You know, he was a big Columbo fan, yeah. and he really w- saw a part of the evidence that is just blatantly obvious, but no one really saw it, much like Columbo did. He goes, so, he's knocked out. He goes, and this kid, he wakes up, and he's in the van. He goes, how much already weigh? <laughs> 150? Right. 155? Yeah, how'd he get him in a van? <laughs> so how does this skinny little ghetto kid yeah. get already into a van? <laughs> right. Because right there, it's a little... In the most crowded city on earth. <laughs> and, then, and then he also left the van. Joke. It's a good joke. It's a very the guy left joke. The 19 year old left the van. Whoever's van it was, he just left it. Right, left it. And left Artie there and took off. I heard Artie stashed the van in his nose and then walked <laughs> back home. <laughs> Big note. But I digress. Yeah, I just, I really, like, even when uh, I got brought in this third mic to be on with you and him, it was, like, such an amazing fucking opportunity oh, and man. amazing thing. And it's like, this is crazy. It's, like, two of my heroes. When he so was on? Yeah, it's funny, but he's like, you took his job. And I'm like, no, I didn't. No, what it's are you? already laying. Like, it, people just don't understand, like, how bad he There's is always right now. so much you can do. And, like, I, I love Artie. He's fucking funny as fuck. And when he was on, on this show, when he wasn't totally fucked up. Unbelievable. Hilarious. Yes, there is. The best two hours out there. It, yeah. Every day. There is a show we did here. It was me, Artie, and Gilbert. It's and amazing. It is fucking uh-huh. hilarious. Like, it's just so goddamn funny. It was one of the, it was a dream show for me. And then Dude. you got the Artie that would walk in with the sunglasses on. And I'm going through show prep every second because he's yeah. interrupting every story <laughs> like, with a tra- you know some kind of tangent, and I, I, I had nothing to I couldn't get rolling on any. Yeah, my I think my favorite moment in my entire comedy career is us three doing uh, homosexually repressed Southern sheriff. Oh, for like an hour yeah, and yeah. twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? like just that shit, and then you could just keep going for. Yeah, that and was it. Was it. Just it was so just amazing. Keep going. Hilariously funny. And the next day he couldn't even, you know, he's just like, yeah. And it's just sad because you know, it's so easy to tell. Yeah. That's, uh, and that's what we dealt with. And uh, I remember asking um, DePaulo because Nick worked with him for a while on uh, the the Nick and Artie show, the Artie and Nick show. And uh, so when he was coming on board, I was like, Nick, any insight you could give me about this? He goes, 
Yeah, call me in a few weeks. He goes, you'll have all the fucking insight you need. I'm like, oh, okay, all right. All right, I kind of figured it out from there. So. Uh, oh, my God. If you want to see Artie in, uh, like, uh, Dirty Work. Dirty Work. Beer League. Beer League is another one, some of his specials. They're all available at deepdiscount.com. Look at that segue. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. All the savings are going to get starting tomorrow and all through February. <laughs> Fans of this very program are going to save an additional 15% when you enter CM. That's Compound Media. 15. CM15 to check out. That's 15% off all of your favorites, uh, your TV shows, movies, music, and a lot more. Go see. You're going to find thousands of choices without spending a lot of cash. You know the ones you're obsessed with, the classics, the hard-to-find titles, box sets. You always... Uh, I know I do this. I got friends over, and it's like the, the usual shit. All right, put on Goodfellas. All right, put on there. And then you search on cable or something. You buy it on demand again. Just own the goddamn thing. Own the movies you watch all the time. You go to Deep Discount. You get yourself a, a remember, a plastic disc? Remember? A DVD? <laughs> and then you own it forever. They can't take it from you. It's not pixelated. It's not edited. Bad Lieutenant, the original one with Kaitel. Hilarious movie. When he does his fucking Louis C.K. impression outside yeah, the yeah. window of the girl's car. <laughs> they cut that part out in when, on cable. Yeah, on you cable. think you're getting the real movie on cable? You're not. They edit all that shit out. You want the whole thing. I love that that's the enticement for oh, your audience. Okay. Beautiful girls. <laughs> you want a Kit Kat club? Yeah. You want to see my uh, latest uh, stand-up set? If our fans want to watch Harvey Keitel jerk yeah. off, deep discount, Doc. <laughs> Show me with your mouth while you watch Louis. Show me with your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. The, uh, how about this? The classics, the final season of Perry Mason for less than 20 bucks. The outstanding courtroom skills of this guy often tricks and traps people, making them unwittingly admit their guilt. I think this has been Artie's lawyer, Perry Mason. <laughs> Amazing, that motherfucker. You're going to find uh, the final season uh, and so many more episodes of Perry Mason right there at your fingertips. Uh, you watch it when you want. No more searching disappointed commercials, all that bullshit. Be good to yourself. Be uh, great to yourself. Buy your favorites. Support our great sponsor. Click Deep Discount, the logo right there on our website starting tomorrow through February. Be sure to enter the code <laughs> CM15 at checkout for uh, extra savings on all of your purchases. Own your obsessions. Check it out right now. And Garrett, if you would please. Thanks, Deep Discount. Oh, no. You did the... Oh, you did the... And we actually see the waveform that you put up on the screen. <laughs> that's all I'm seeing in my monitor. Uh, that's good. Allie has been here for a, a, a day, two days. You're, you're going to be here tomorrow also. Yeah. That's true. How's Vegas? It's babe? amazing. It's yeah? warm. I hear it's really cold here, and I picked a fun time to come. You did <laughs> pick a I great hear. time to come to New York. Yeah. I'm but, stupid. Uh, I didn't figure that out. You know what's great? Uh, more, more gambling in the subway than uh, in Vegas. Yeah, I don't true. know what you the really subway is. really take your chances what does that mean? pulling them bones down there in the subway. I don't take subways. Uh, go, oh, wow. Well, you should privilege. see what de Blasio has done with them. They're terrific. Oh, I'll take lovely. your word for it. That it's good. guy is just like Because I was the, wondering where the homeless had gone. All the years it's brought took them back. Out there. For, for wacky Giuliani to fucking clean up New York. I, I was going to say back in spades. And, oh. Real. <laughs> it's it's so bad now, like with the homeless, and the cops are, they got their hands tied. They're not allowed to do anything. So the subways are a mess. It's just shit and Well, they're investigating out. the guys in MAGA hats. Well, yeah, those are the real problems. Gotta keep your those eye on Those are the on real them. threats. The guys. You know, when I when I walk into a uh, an ATM vestibule at night, yeah. I'm looking for those MAGA hats. Yeah. When I go to put my card in the cash machine and pull out a couple of hundred, I'm looking, where's the MAGA hat? And the noose and the bleach. Mm -hmm. Not you at know, all. I want a good guy with a fucking hoodie pulled up so I can't see his face. <laughs> those are the people I go, Whew, thank God I'm safe. I just like to see Rockefeller Center near the holidays and, you know, yeah. a guy uh, taking an open Opium shit right next to the Christmas. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's always isn't that a straining drug <laughs> bell mm. movement? Oh, it smells like Christmas <laughs> in the air. It's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Walking to the subway from my apartment today on the eighth, uh, there's a woman. She had a sock on and a shoe on the other foot. She's insane. No teeth. Her hair is. Uh, she's got like barely anything on a sweater, maybe. Oh. And she's going with a cup, and she's like, "Help me, it's free. I'm so cold. Help me, help me." And I just couldn't fucking be bothered. I'm like, "Get away!" 
You're, you no, know why? That's, it's not. You're crazy. But the city. Go to a hospital. Take care of them. <laughs> Go to a hospital. Yeah, Giuliani put them in, in places where they'd be safe and warm. That's and right. Sad. Graves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're seeing the sensitive Anthony today. <laughs> I'm kind of. No, I felt bad. I just had to not feel bad for my own sanity. I'm kind of with I you. Can't, I know. I can't I know. be compassionate for everyone out there. I would go nuts. So I just no, look but and also, go. What would you go to do? a fucking hospital. Don't beg on the street here. Or, go to an emergency room. Or a pet infirmatory. Yes, yeah, something. Or, or fucking, there's subway tracks right downstairs from where you are. Lay on those. They'll warm you up. <laughs> third rail. Nothing's, nothing's hotter than that third rail. Nothing's hotter in this cold weather than a cremation. That's right. Your fucking clothes will be on fire in a second. Yes. Just fucking dip your foot in water and plaster that fucking socked foot on that third rail. And they yeah. say we're not compassionate. I know. That's right. <laughs> hey. Try a sock puppy. Hey, Maybe I say I'll what listen. I want. It's a private company. <laughs> yeah. Compound Media. Right. Say that's whatever right. the fuck I want. That's right. I you can do anything. Fuck Earn it. the homeless. Fuck it. I hired, hey, I hired Gino Bisconti, okay? <laughs> Enough. I did my civic You're fucking right. duty. You're right. You're good, You're good for two <laughs> years. <laughs> Drunk. Drunk motherfucker. That is two years of positive karma. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Um, oh, my goodness. Uh, Ann Coulter, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. I for love you, me. man. I love having you on. I love uh, watching what you do out there. You shake shit up, and, and it's, it's funny. It's interesting. Uh, you're an amazing person. I love you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Great to be here. AnnCoulter.com. Resistance is futile. Uh, and the great Jim Florentine, an, a, always a lovely addition to the program. Thank you. At Mr. Jim Florentine, uh, jimflorentine.com for your Jim Florentine needs. And everybody is awful except you. That would be your book. Which I've read. It's yes. Awesome. And then uh, Saturday night, um, February 2nd, night before the Super Bowl, Newtown Theater, Newtown, Pennsylvania. Awesome. And then Mohegan Sun the week after. Yeah, the week after. Uh, yes. That's it. Uncasville. Connecticut. All right, everybody. And, and read my book, and then she just texted me. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When Jim Norton writes the forward, and oh, it yeah. starts there, it's like, I have a lot of questions. <laughs> Jim wrote my forward, too. Yeah, that's yeah, fucking yeah. awesome. <laughs> he knows me so well. It's, it's perfect. He's the perfect guy. He's just so funny, too, Jimmy. Yeah. He gets a, a great insight on writing a forward. It's definitely yeah. not boring, that's for sure. <laughs> Dave, where will you be so the fine people can see you? This Saturday, Bad Axe, Michigan, Franklin Inn, February 8th through 11th, the Comedy Bar in Chicago, Illinois. And Brr. Yes, cool. Well, hopefully I'll just bring my MAGA hat. Yeah. And Wear a MAGA hat and, and uh, a noose and some bleach. <laughs> Me and my redneck <laughs> friends. Walk around at 2.30 in the morning exactly. where no self-respecting person would ever be. Exactly. And I, <laughs> I won't take... That's it. I won't take cameras oh. in account to my story. Right, right. Avoid uh, any security cameras. <laughs> During an assault. <laughs> I might just wear a noose and bleach every yeah, yeah. night. Yeah, Wear it as a tie. Just come on. Hi, people. Hey, hey I got to tell you. I got to tell hey, you. People. You know what? <laughs> oh, they beat me good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, March 9th, Stand Up for Autism at Summers Point, New Jersey. You can get those tickets on Eventbrite and DaveLandau.com at Landau Dave on Twitter. I like how Dave is trying to get this little place in heaven. get better. This little oh, place yeah, the, in heaven. I figure if I do these uh, shows to help retards, I'll be good. Oh, my God. That is so mean. <laughs> oh, my God. What? What I say? You're going you're gonna to get there and it's like, well, Dave, I see here you've done a lot of charitable events. Yes. And you co-host yeah. on the Anthony Cumia <laughs> show? What is that? Yeah, going <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping to at least get eternity in purgatory. Yeah. <laughs> Just a good enough resume to be right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, and thank you, the fine people uh, that watch this uh, program. Uh, have yourselves a great weekend. I know yours doesn't start till uh, tomorrow, but mine starts right the fuck now. <laughs> uh, private company, I can do what I want. Uh, <laughs> Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday. Adios. Oh.